Mouse! Hi! <laughs> Are you ready? Ready for what? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, precious family of all ages, she is the Siren of the Caribbean with powers so dark and mystical that they call her the Demon Queen, the Iron Warrior of the Virtual Unit, V Shoujo, the one, the only, Iron Mouse! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm the one that's supposed to be introducing you, not you introducing me. Hey guys, I'm False ID. How y'all doing tonight? <laughs> <laughs> that is False ID, I as in eyeball, D as in di uh, dog. Uh, I am... Uh... <laughs> Dear God, this is a family show. I'm just kidding. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a family show. Ah! I was gonna make this really cool intro about how you're the king of VTuber news! It's true. It's true. <gasps> it's true! I'm glad that you think so, because it is true. <laughs> That's silly. Anyways, I am the creator and host of Things VTubers Say. Uh, we have over 130 episodes now, yeah. featuring over 2,100 VTubers and artists. Wait, what? Really? Yeah, we. it is extensive now. Yes, yes, yes. You've documented 2,100 VTubers? That is correct. Unique. Yes, Wait. yes, yes. Wait, you keep track of that? I keep track of everything, Melcy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear God. I think I made a mistake inviting you here. Oh, yes. You're going to realize that real quick. No! <laughs> please! Please please have mercy on me. I'm but a simple, small demon VTuber. Yeah, we're going to take you to task about that. What? Look, uh, <laughs> consequences tonight will never be the same. Oh, no! I'm terrified! Please! Ten Tonight, we are going to fundamentally change how you view and think about Iron Mouse. Wait, what? <laughs> wait, wait, what does that mean? What does that mean? What, what does that mean? I'm really scared. It's going to be a nice adventure. How are you feeling tonight, Mouse? How's it going? Uh, 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 I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I feel like I should be facing the other way or something here. I don't know. You want, you facing me? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> it's okay. You, you you can face me. You can face away from me. It's fine. It's fine. I'm used to it. No, I'm just kidding. So here's the thing. Here's what I noticed. What? I'm on the right side of the screen, correct? Uh-huh. And you're on the left. Uh-huh. And when you tune into a talk show... Which side of the screen is the host usually on, Mouse? Oh, yeah, but I'm, I'm Satan, so everything's upside down <laughs> in my world. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's, di it's different. It's different. How about, how about we just try this revolutionary new idea where the guest comes on and interviews the host? How about that? What? <laughs> but, but, but that's against the rules. It's time to break the rules. Oh, God. I'm so terrified now. Help me! <laughs> Give it up, baby. I've studied all your moves. What? No! No! Wait. Wait, all of them? Oh, no. We got a few things. We got a few things. Oh, no. What? What's the big idea? This is supposed to be my show! <laughs> I'm supposed to be the one dominating you! Not the other way around! Uh, guys, I, I, I gotta say, as, as far as Mouse goes, she is, everything you see on the show, she is exactly like that what? behind the scene. She is, she, in, in the direct messages when she reached out to me like a month ago, when we were trying to do tech support right up until we went live, the, what you see is what you get. There, <laughs> there is not some other Mouse here. <laughs> It's a beautiful thing. Hey, I'm no, I'm cool and calm and collected.
good and 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 I'm I'm a serious lady. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I saw you were up uh, real early yesterday. Uh, what? <laughs> Iron Mouse sent out this this tweet uh, in the morning. It was what? like real early in the morning. She's like, "Hey guys, just had this sexy morning shower. I love being <laughs> up this early in the morning." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> I didn't call it sexy. I was just happy that I took a shower at at six a.m. It's refreshing. You're a robot. Sexy tweet. You're a Sexy robot. Tweet. <laughs> You're a robot. You don't understand. Unless you unless you do when you take showers as a robot. No, I'm a stinky robot. I don't know. I don't smell anything bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that's right, folks. Yeah, uh, just to uh, get to it, I, I love talking about VTubers. We'll probably talk about a few few VTubers. We'll we'll, we'll say nice things about VTubers tonight. No yeah, worries. Yeah, nice things only, please. And starting of nice things, let's let's talk about your four-year anniversary. That's incredible. Oh, yeah, that was not too long ago. We had a big celebration. You had that total joke stretch goal of $10,000 that just got blown out the water uh, right away. Listen, I thought that was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. I was like, well, it's it's a, it's a smaller charity. It's it's I think this is this is good. I don't want to like uh, pressure anyone into into donating because I know that it's 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 it, it, it's 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 been a hard time. <laughs> well, you did it right. You did it through Teltify. It was all on the up and up. That was very cool. Yeah. But even I, I was I was legitimately blown away. I was like thinking like, yeah, this is probably gonna end like. 60 70 something and you just kept going thought... you kept going <laughs> that was an 11 hour and 15 minute stream i don't think i've ever seen an iron mouse stream go that long but you did it for an amazing cause hit 100 no wait hold on a second one hundred and one thousand dollars <laughs> that went up even further after the stream incredible work <laughs> Oh my God, I can't believe you. You, you, were, you were watching. Help. Oh, we all were. We were all watching. Really? That was awesome. Oh, I, it was, it's my record longest stream. I was really happy to do it, though, uh, even though I paid for it uh, and uh, I got in trouble with, with people that, that uh, talked to me in my private life. And they're like, you can't <laughs> be going on that long. What is wrong with you? You're insane. You know, you've actually been streaming more and more like every month this year yeah like we're, we're getting to see more iron mouse that's awesome i'm i'm, I'm getting strong Are maybe you worried? yeah yeah <laughs> too strong we need I'm... to we need to nerf no nerf don't nerf iron me mouse. anymore i've been nerfed <laughs> enough i've been nerfed enough in my life i don't need any more nerfing but four years that's incredible so to, so to set the scene for everybody four years is nuts in like the timing of like VTubers, right? I think so. I think it, I think like the timing of the internet too, because on the internet, everything that happens like in the span of a week, it's like yes. it's happening in a month's time. Yes, yes. It, it's like this VTuber time, it feels like we've been in it for like 20 years now, right? It feels yeah. like forever at this point. Yeah. Like, set the scene, gonna name drop real quick. Four years ago, Hololive didn't exist, right? Takino Sora, she's about to have her four-year anniversary coming up September 7th. It's going to be awesome. But when Mousy went live, to my, my understanding, there wasn't any Hololive. There was nothing there. So, you know, I, I, I'll get into my, my origin, but we got we to start with you, Mouse. Oh. So, you know, if I, I started two years ago, that's when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. <laughs> But I don't mean anything by this, but you started four years ago. That's like a primordial soup. Are you calling me old? A little bit. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> like, how did, how did it start? I, I don't know if I've ever heard, like, how you got into it, how... how I didn't uh, even call myself a VTuber when I first started because Kizuna I was doing it. And I thought, oh, well, that's just a term that she does for herself. But it's like... 
I like I I remember watching her before, and I'm like, man, I want to do that. And then I I started getting into like streamers in general, and I started watching a lot of streams. I'm like, I want to do that. I want to have fun. I want to do that. Me. <laughs> so I wanted to have fun too, but I was really uh scared. <laughs> oh, you you shouldn't. That's normal. That's normal. Like getting nervous, perfectly normal. But. You had a you had a different model at the time, and you were using was were you using face rig I at was, the time? I was using face. The, why does that feel so ancient? <laughs> face she rig. She had mm -hmm. she, she had this totally different model. We call it Baby Mouse now. It's it's <laughs> even smaller. Uh, it was cute. It was cute, and you had it for about two years. It sounded like. I did, I did, because at the time, like, uh, well, first off, uh, you know, you don't start off, like, making money, you know what I mean? No. So, at the time, <laughs> I wasn't really making money, and I was doing it for fun, and I didn't even know if I wanted to, like, do it seriously, you know? To me, I was like, I'm just doing this for fun, want to make some friends, want to have a social life, so I, that, I was just, like, going about it, like, very casually, and then, like, I don't know, I... I started uh, looking on Twitch because I was on another platform before. Oh. <laughs> and then I went on Twitch and I saw all these... I saw real... I think the first VTuber I ever saw, her name was Sachi. And then I saw Zen and I saw... Uh, and then I saw Silver. And I was like, oh shit, maybe I should go on Twitch. Fuck. But I was always scared because, like, on the other platform I was on, like, everybody always told me, Don't go on there! It's a scary place! It's so scary! People are so mean there! Don't do it! And I and I was afraid. But then <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna do it! And I did it. And then, uh, I don't know. I was like, I think, I think I wanna, I think I wanna, I wanna leave this, 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 uh, borrowed body and, and come to the real world with my real body, you know? So I did. <laughs> and so that was that was probably sometime around when, when I began. So I I remember the day. It was June 30th, 2019. That was your first I'm on Twitch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tell me, tell me, run, run me down, run it down with me. Tell me. It's it's 3 a.m. in the morning. And I am they're, you know, just watching some Final Fantasy XIV streams, which, again, is the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV that has a free trial up to level 60 and includes the first expansion, Heaven's Word. <laughs> and I, I was just clicking around. I was just checking out different streams. And I was about to nod off. All of a sudden, on the, sc on the screen is this anime girl, and she's talking in English. And my mind was so blown. I, I it's just I, I couldn't I couldn't even like process what I was seeing. I had seen Kiz and I. I had seen I think at that time uh, Inigami Karani, but that that felt like something intangible. It didn't feel like I felt like oh you got to have a studio for that stuff or something like that. It's in a I it's in a different language. Thing. I thought the same thing. I thought like, I was like, well, this is clearly is a very professional production that I will never achieve. <laughs> but wait, who was the first VTuber you ever, you ever saw in your... So the, the first, and this is still an amazing friend of mine. She is amazing. This is twitch.tv slash rainy, as in raindrop. And uh, she's been a she's been a partner for a really long time. She actually looks like the uh, Concha emote right now, and she's gonna have a new uh, model coming up. So, but she's got a lot. I, I can't actually talk about it, but she's gonna kill me. Uh, she has some big stuff coming that could fundamentally change VTubing for really? a good deal of us. Yes. Oh yeah. My God, that's yeah. Exciting. So she's been awesome. I had a thousand questions for her, right? It was like, what, 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 what? And she's super nice. She answered uh, all of them. And uh, it was like a month in, I'm watching her nonstop. And I'm like, hold on, wait. I can do this. Hold on, wait a second. Wait a second. I can do this too. 
I feel like a lot of people, they get that epiphany in their brain where it's like, I can do this. I want to do this. That's dope. What made you, what made you pull the trigger though? Like, was, was there just anything or was it like, you just, you just did it? Well, originally when I first started streaming, like when I was with uh, Baby Mouse, uh, I remember I really wanted to stream, but I did, I, 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 I did one stream where I showed my face. But I ended in like two minutes because I had the worst panic attack of my life. Ugh. I'm like, I cannot, I cannot do this. I cannot do this. I can't do this. And then my friend, I remember my friend, uh, I was talking to my friend and my friend was like, hey, why don't you just use face ring? And I'm like, what the heck is that? And then they gifted me face ring. And they're like, Aww. use this. And I was like, oh, and they're like, you can be an anime girl. Like you said you wanted to be. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I did it. And then... Uh, and then after, like, I, I discovered all the VTubers on Twitch, and everybody was calling themselves VTubers, and I'm like, holy shit, it was, it was, it's a name that I could use, and <laughs> I can be one too? Wow. So, uh, I contacted the creator of the original Baby Mouse, uh, uh, body. Oh. I did. I, I messaged them by chance. I was like I was like, well, I'll try it because I really liked the way that the that the body moved and I loved the way that she was like moving around and stuff. And I'm like She's super cute. She yeah. is super cute. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I want I want this type of look and fluidity. Maybe I should message them, but I doubt that they're gonna answer me because I at the time, you know, at the time when I think it was like early twenty nineteen no one there was like nobody around that made like r models and ring i mean there were i'm sure there were but i was so small and i didn't know who to talk to and i think like at the time like there wasn't that many vtubers and stuff so it, it's like now there's like a huge ocean where it's like you can find someone anywhere like anyone makes a model now and they're beautiful and everybody works so hard on them but like back then it was very hard to find so i was like let me just uh let me uh try to see if i could uh message message them and i did and i was so nervous and they got back to me and i was so surprised and i'm like <gasps> it's happening it's happening yes <laughs> yeah it's happening but who 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 brought you to life do you do you ever talk about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I started off with this beautiful robot you all see in front of you right now. And it was it was a different time. This was August of 2019. Mm. And the turnaround was insane. Uh, I had Moing Thuta, who is a mecha artist. I reached out to him on ArtStation. And, you know, the cool thing is, is often when you're working with these artists, they'll come to you with a lot of different concepts, right? Yeah. So he made like six different, entirely different robots. And Holy shit. It being a robot, I was like, okay, I want that head. I want those arms. Put this together that way, this way. And it just worked out to what you see here. Oh, so you're a mix and match of different uh, robo parts. Oh, totally, totally. Oh, I drew my original design. Like I did the concept art and everything. I, I drew it all myself and I gave it to... Uh, Kentama and and I was like, please, please cr make me real. <laughs> That's so adorable. Ah! <laughs> no, you. So how about? But the weird thing is, I I haven't seen any mouse ears on these mouse models. All right, we'll talk about that later. No worries. I'm not not mouse. So, so before we we started you're still talking like about anxiety and nervousness and all oh that God. <laughs> i feel a little bit less nervous right now but still nervous it's it's that it's it's that roller coaster ride from when yes. you're gonna stream or you're gonna start doing something and then you feel like your heart is gonna come out of your butt like I said, it's like any streamer, no matter how seasoned you are, like just before you hit that go live button or a few minutes before, there's sometimes this weird smack in the face, right? This weird anxiety that hits you like, oh, 
tonight's the night. This is it. This, this is the time when everybody <laughs> midstream is just like, yeah, I think I've had enough. And this, that's just like the end of it, yeah, right? Like, like, fuck that Iron Mouse. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> It happens to me every, I think that every day and every day I wake up and I'm like, today is the day when everybody will be like, fuck Iron Mouse and just leave. <laughs> That's me every day. I think it's like, is this like a combination of like imposter syndrome and like a, a combination of just extremely insecure me being dumb? I don't know. I think it's just this weird thing that, uh, you're never really ever correctly prepared for. I was really lucky. I was given a trial by fire when I was really, really young. Wait, what? So it, this was like grade zero or something. This wasn't even like first grade. And some teacher from some other class uh, gets me and some other girl from another class I'd never seen and takes us backstage in the auditorium. So we're behind the curtain. Oh my and God. he's like, hey. What? <laughs> that sounds very ominous. What's happening? Yes. And he's like, hey, you need to re re like remember these like three or four lines. I don't remember what this was about, but so we do. And we're just kind of waiting around. Like, we don't know what this is about or any of that. And all of a sudden, the curtain on the stage opens up. And in front of me, looking right at me, is the entire school. Uh, uh, <laughs> what? I would have a teddy attack. I mean, well, I'm, I'm in grade school, so I would have a panic attack. Teddy attack time. <laughs> what, 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 what happened? What did you have to do? What? Nothing happened, Mouse. That's the thing. Like, nothing happened. He said his lines, she said her lines, I said my lines, and the world kept on spinning. It Wait, wasn't a big deal. What? How is that and not was, a big deal? And it was like a really early, early, early life lesson. It was like, oh, that that was that was fine. That was not gonna be the end of the world at all. But usually, like for most folks, they don't have to do public speaking till like what? Like, so, like real public speaking, not just like classroom public speaking, right? Yeah. But like sometimes like into college or something like that. You're not like prepared for this kind of stuff. Oh, God, no. I took speech class and that was the worst experience of my life. <laughs> I hate but any it. <laughs> but anyways, like you're on it. Like you, you go to toe to toe with anyone now, Mouse. Me? Like. Yeah, it doesn't matter if they're a VTuber, it doesn't matter if they're IRL. Like, it, you, you know, you on Hive Mind, it was just one to one. There wasn't any kind of like difference there. What? What? You watched it? I saw a clip or two. That yeah, was fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think now, like, even though I get really nervous, I love talking to people and I love uh, meeting new people and making friends because it's like I always tell people, you know, I used to be, I, I was always an extrovert and now I'm living an introvert life and it's like I have like horrible social anxiety now. But back when I was a kid, like, I didn't give a fuck. I would talk to everybody. <laughs> I didn't care. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm an idiot. Now I'm like, oh god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> you know, and it, it is what it is. Uh, uh, I try my best, but still, I'll always have anxiety. God damn it. Yeah, there's no, I don't know. There's no getting around it, but it's just that realization, you know, like, nah, all the stuff is up in my head. It's all good. It's all good. You have a good head on your shoulders. But let's talk about what we need to get on your head. What? Mouse ears. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> What's it going to take to get Iron Mouse to try on some mouse ears? <laughs> you know, what? National Mouse Day is coming up March 21st. Yeah, yeah. What? That, 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 that's, so, that's so far away. Plenty of time to get prepared. Oh, God. I mean, I mean, I've played with the idea. Like, I don't know. Uh, so before, like, I 
debuted my 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 my, uh, my real form. I was playing around with like different looks because I, I you know I did my own concept art and I was like hmm hmm and there's a version of me floating out there with ears. <laughs> nice. But uh, I I actually did like three four different types of ears and like I was gonna have ears but they were more like rabbit ears. <laughs> <laughs> but then I did another one with mouse ears and I'm like I can't I'm like no man I'm I can't be animal I'm a demon <laughs> It's just a name but you know I I don't know uh I think maybe I might cosplay as mouse one day maybe Ooh maybe maybe <laughs> Even for just a day we just want to see it for just a day mouse <laughs> For just a day I don't Just know, I thought day. about it because I was like, well, Halloween is coming up, but but then I realized I can't I can't debut that form on Halloween, so I'm gonna debut it uh some other time. Oh yeah, let, let, let's talk about that real quick. <laughs> yeah. New <laughs> models. Oh. Uh love your new model here. Love it, love Thank it, love you. it. Uh, it's got two big boisterous Shoulders now. We love that you have shoulders. We're a big fan of that. <laughs> what? I, rem I remember that clapback tweet that you made for your last one where it was like, you made these big bulky shoulders. <laughs> and you were like, is, th is this what you want? Is this what you all want? That's because people were like, where are your shoulders? Where are your shoulders, Iron Mouse? And I'm like... <laughs> and I, I, was just, I was just thinking in the back of my head, yeah, that's actually what we want. Yeah, we want big, strong, bulky, strength-filled <laughs> shoulders. Swole mouse. I'm a, listen, I, I, I'm a slender lady. I had slender, delicate shoulders. But I don't know. People just wanted me to be swole. I get it. Okay. So here, here's the question that we have. How many models do you have in the works right now? <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> what, 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 are you trying to expose me now? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Th this question sets Mouse off when people say, why do you, why do you got a new model? What's going on? What's, what's happening? Listen, I can't like, live on my fantasies. <laughs> it's like, I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, Mouse kind of does this for a living. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's 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 part hobby too. It's cool that way. But yeah. there's a little bit of a presentation that happens here, guys. Like I don't know if you noticed. Like <laughs> just, model reveals are kind of like a thing. Listen, here's the thing. This is what I I, I told. I said that. I think I said this on a stream. But I also said this to uh, some of my friends in V Shoujo. To me, when you get a new model, it's almost like it's almost like you're paying homage to the artist who, who helped create you, who helped bring you to life, you know? Oh. So to me, I picture myself as like a walking museum. So uh, I don't know if that sounds dumb, but that, that, that to me, I'm a walking art exhibit museum and I am showing everyone uh, the amazing uh, creativity of the person who helped bring me to life. I mean, I, un I totally actually unironically would love to have like some compendium of all of the V Shoujo models. Like if I could go to like vshoujo.com and like see all the models over the history, I think that would be awesome because they're they've all been fantastic. I think and... to me, yeah, it's like it's like somebody wrote like tattoos. It's I agree. Like I don't have tattoos and I can't get tattoos, but to me, I feel like tattoos are so amazing because like you're walking like picture book and it's amazing and it's beautiful. I think it's it's great. To get like deep for just half a second, I really do believe that VTubers and VTubing is still like the bleeding edge of where technology and artistry are meeting right now, oh. right? Like I, I can't think of any other medium because it's unscripted, it's wholly meant to be reflective of the user, right? Yeah. It's not like we give some like, we're not given some template and like, you know, just making like a character model out of that or something like that. Not at all. Yeah. 
we're all different and we all do different things and I, that's why I'm obsessed with VTubers and I love them and I just love VTubing man it's become like a huge passion in my life and I'm sure so, uh, it's huge for you too because you know you're you're the king of VTuber news <laughs> <laughs> so I, I also hear uh, you might you may have a gender bend version coming yeah. is that true can we expect uh, that? Uh, yeah, maybe. Woohoo! <laughs> I I have several several uh forms uh coming soon oh. to this universe. <laughs> you know, one I think would actually re work really good for you is um, Miko Mouse, like a priestess mouse. A priestess. <gasps> I was talking about this with my friend, and I'm like, you know, priestesses are so cute. I love the priestess costume. It's so adorable. I would love to be a shrine maiden. Miko Mouse. Yeah. Let's make it happen. You know, but uh, uh, right now, uh, the things that I'm come that are coming like soon are uh, 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 I I've said it on stream, so it doesn't matter. Uh, my Samael <laughs> form, which is my my angelic. Uh, horrifically, biblically accurate angel form. <laughs> what's what's the lead time on this stuff? How long would you say it takes for you to come up with an idea, and then finally get it on the screen for us for our, for your audience? Oof. Uh, it depends. It depends on on the complexity, and it depends on uh, who uh, I'm talking to. <laughs> Yeah. You know, because there's now, now there's so many VTubers and everybody is always like upgrading and doing so many amazing things. So, uh, you know, uh, people, it, it's, it's a lot. And I always feel like I don't want to like bother people so much, but I, 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 it depends. Uh, usually several months in advance. <laughs> you don't go like, I'm Iron Mouse. Give me. <laughs> Oh no, me... I would I would never holy shit. I would never. I can never do that. Like I I I I can't. Like I I feel too bad because I know I know how overworked artists are and every time like I talk to someone who like is going to like do something for me, I'm like please take your time. Please understand that you're number one. Your health is number one. Take your time. It's okay. I can wait. I can wait forever. I have the patience of a thousand snails. It's fine. I'm Iron Mouse. No. No. I, I need can't. this tomorrow. <laughs> I, can't. I can't. I will not be paying you. You will be paid in exposure bucks. Oh my God. I, oh God, dear God. I hate that. <laughs> I never do that. Jesus Christ. It's the worst. <laughs> oh God, no. That makes me feel. When I see people on Twitter saying, like, oh, X person, uh, they'll, they'll like post like the. The, the the screenshots of like the the DMs and like blank out the name and be like this person said they paid me an exposure I'm like <laughs> what the fuck Jesus Christ what's wrong with you such crap pay your I artists only... they need to eat yes pay your artists folks and tip them if you can yes. give them a little bit of bonus if they've done a good job they need to eat and pay their light bill I only asked because this robot I had turned around like in a month. It was quick. It was Whoa. insane quick. But Whoa. for my other model, that took some planning. That took some serious planning. That was like six months from ideal to concept. Oh, yeah. The, 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 your intern. Should I bring him out? If you want to. I know he's a troublemaker. Here we go. I know he's a bit of a troublemaker, you know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh! Hello. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> it's me, better ID. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, somebody sent me a message saying, uh, excuse me, why did you put his intern on the ad? And I'm like, he's there, he's just really tiny. <laughs> she put the sexy one on the front. That's, that's what matters. Oh, somebody in chat is asking, is he paid or unpaid at the moment? Let's not talk about that. Uh -oh. Anyways. <laughs> uh -oh. So another thing I asked uh, on Twitter was, is it is it tungsten cat or tungsten rat? 
What what is the real name for Iron Mouse? <laughs> it's Tungsten Cap. <laughs> but Cause I, you know, you know what happens when some people decide to call me a fucking rat. It sticks. So now I'm fucking tungsten rat. I heard it was aluminum giraffe before even that. Oh yeah, that's I used to say I used to say I have an evil twin and the name was aluminum <laughs> giraffe. <laughs> And then for uh, April Fools, I came on and I and I put like a yellow overlay on me, and I came out as like yellow in in like all yellow, and I was like, I'm aluminum giraffe. We got a bunch of great names here, actually. L let's see, we got Steel Squeaker, <laughs> Copper Gerbil, <laughs> Titanium Chinchilla, what the <laughs> Chromium Dog. I like this one. Galvanized Gatto. What? Uranium. I like chromium dog. <laughs> Wait, uranium what? Uranium shrew. <laughs> uh, ferric ferret. Oh. Gold hamster. <laughs> and my favorite, my absolute favorite, metal mole. Metal mole? Metal Mole. Oh, God. It's the best. It's the best I, out of all of them. I think somebody also said that, like, oh, she has a Canadian cousin that's a moose. And it, I forget what they, what they called it. It was something <laughs> moose. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, uh. So do you have a... Here, here's a question. Do you have any favorite VTuber? Whoa, uh, that's a very loaded question. <laughs> it is. It is. I'll, I'll say I do not. I do not have a favorite VTuber. And that's kind of probably what propelled me more to make a show about every VTuber I could get my hands on. Really? Yeah, because I'm just fascinated by all of them. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, is it because you haven't found the one yet? Or is it because all of them are amazing? <laughs> Maybe I haven't found the one. I found a, I found plenty of awesome VTubers though. Like pl plenty of awesome VTubers. Like I, I've always dreamed of. Well, firstly, like a VTuber video game. Ooh, so yeah. it could be like an idol manager video game, but it's just with VTubers. <laughs> like well, they you got play, one you, like that now. They got idol manager, and I, I guess you could put your own VTubers in there. You know. They have like a uh, Hall Live mod, I think, in there somewhere. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, like, really in depth. Like, you're playing the VTuber manager, and you know, let's call him um, Sprint Pistol, the Sprint Pistol. Yeah, let's go with that name. Sprint and <laughs> okay. And you got to get these 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 VTubers to stream, so you got to cut off their allowance and things like that all kinds of the weird fun things that you deal with as a vtuber oh dear god it's like the sims but have you ever thought about like making like well like if you ran an agency like how you would run it or who you would add or things like that oh my god like a fantasy like oh uh, yeah my, my top vtubers that i would add to an agency holy right shit. right uh I, I have the same problem as you because it's like I like so many people and I am just I just love VTubing. I could watch VTubers all day, which is probably why my sleep schedule is so fucked up because I will spend hours at night just bra the wor the, the the worst and best thing that ever happened to me in my life was the addition of the VTuber tag on Twitch. Oh yes. That was the end for us. <laughs> You're not a real VTuber anyways if you have a good sleep schedule. It's not it's, it's not it's true. impossible. It's true. That tag is the will be the death of me because every day <laughs> the second I get off stream, I'm like, okay, time to check out the tag. And then I, I'm like looking and then I realize, oh it's 10 a.m. now. Whoops. <laughs> time to watch more VTubers. Oh idiot. But uh, <laughs> it's fine. We we're all doing it. I'd I'd like to pick your mind a little bit about V Shoujo. Could you could you tell us, like, how did you find out of v, about V Shoujo? When did you know like you were going to join V Shoujo? What 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 was that about? Who reached out to you? What was what happened? Well, uh, as you know, I am good friends with all of the girls in V Shoujo, and uh, we were all friends uh, before it 
was created, but uh, one day, uh, Melody uh, came to me and said, Hey, what do, what, what do you think about maybe uh, 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 joining this? <laughs> oh. And I'm like, <laughs> what? Me? Surely you must not mean me because I am garbage. I thought, I thought in my brain, I was like, I could never belong to anything like that because I suck and I'm terrible. But she was like, are you dumb? <laughs> <laughs> Did she have like a presentation for you or something? Or was it just like, yo, V Shoujo, you in or you out? <laughs> no, I, I think we talked about it. We, we talked about it a little bit because I was really like nervous because I'm like, I, in my, like my whole life has been uh my whole life has been like unconventional like everything's been very strange i've lived a very strange life and very like uh not uh uh not uh uh serious I, well I, no not that's not what i mean i mean more like i didn't think i could belong to something you know so yeah yeah i was very like uh, i don't know but uh we talked about it and then uh after she yelled at me because I'm not, I, I, <laughs> she yelled at me because she's like, "You're not all the things you say you are." I was like, "Okay, <laughs> I, I guess so. If you'll have me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I destroy everything and make everything set on fire." <laughs> yeah, you two are amazing friends. It's it's just really incredible. Like. Uh, you can just tell how comfortable you are together when you're actually collabing together. It's, it's something very special. It is. It is actually something special. Oh, that's because so like you two like lose track of time. All the it's time. it's not a thing. All the time. All the time. All the time. I don't, I, and I feel bad because I'm like, wait, we were supposed to do this shit. <laughs> this is all my fault. <laughs> you know, I I, uh, I did see. Um, Moten, Moten Do. He uh he uh had a tweet today. Oh. At 4:20 p.m. Blaze it. Uh, he sent out. A... Wait, was it really at 4:20? What the it fuck? Was. It was. <laughs> he would. And he said, uh, "Big announcement tomorrow." Do you know anything about that mouse? Uh, no, I don't know. Actually, I'm I'm completely in the dark, and I don't know what it is at all. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know I don't know I don't know. I guess you guys will have to wait and see. <laughs> yeah, know. I'm press I'm pressing X. No, I'm don't pressing press X, X right now. <laughs> I you, I don't know. I I don't know. I, I woke up and, and I'm like, announcement? What? What? But we did get uh, an awesome, awesome announcement today. Uh, we have new V Shoujo merchandise out there. <laughs> Back to school merchandise, as a matter of fact. I'm supposed to be interviewing you! <laughs> well, I had a question about that. It, so I, I saw, obviously, the t-shirt design is from Lynn, right? Yeah. Uh, Mamechi. So is amazing. the is the play mat from Skew Chan? Uh, I think so. I th I think so. I'm not really sure. I have to double check, but I think I think so. Just Maybe. does fantastic work. Again, I know. Uh, I know. Available for the back to school school special <laughs> on SharkRobot.com. <laughs> Pick it up tonight, folks. Yeah, I like the booby pin. <laughs> That's my favorite. And the pizza pin, because I like pizza. <laughs> all right, so we'll, we'll get back to talking about VTubers uh, and all that. Wait a minute, but when are we going to get false merch? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, oh, it would be like a total dream if I could get a little robot Nendoroid. <gasps> that would be awesome. Oh my god, I would, I would, I would buy that Nendoroid. I would legitimately love that. I would, I would, I would also wear a shirt with you on it. Um, I have, uh, the big question where I have to scratch my head about is like, oh, now I'm selling stuff. Like, does that mean like some proceeds have to go to the artists and things like that? So it's, it's a whole, 
whole other thing I got to get back with my character illustrators about. That's yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there, there are certain things you need to work out before you can do it, but I think you should make a Dakimakura. <laughs> I Wait a second. Hmm? Wait, don't you have a Daki on the way? I, I do. I actually do have a Daki on the way. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I do. I have a new Daki on the way. I'm excited. But I would buy one of you! Aww. And I know many people would buy it too. You know what? Another Daki I know you would buy. What? For certain. Uh, a, a sexy, sexy predator Daki. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I would! We need to talk about sexy predators oh, and God. we need to do that tonight. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> I think you're on to something. What? I think really? I, I legitimately think you're on to something here. No, no cap. This is serious. I think you're on to something about predators being sex symbols of some kind. Really? It's true. What? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, me, well, let's look at it. What? Let's look at them. So they're all big and beefy, right? Like you never saw like an out of shape pred <laughs> like predator at all. No. <laughs> and. <laughs> They all have like these crazy fishnet tights, right? Like on their legs and on their chests. What's that about, right? They're, they're pretty sexy, you know? They, they just want to feel good and be fashionable and fun, you know, flirty. <laughs> let's, let's, do a, let's do a quick speech exercise, Mouse. I need, I need you to repeat after me. Okay. A. A. Lee. Lee. E. N. Yan. Elliot. Okay. okay. <laughs> so that would be like if some gray alien came down and said, take me to your leader, but he was wearing sexy hooker boots. It's like, I'm getting, I'm getting mixed signals here is all I'm saying. Oh, wow. Well, I'm not getting mixed signals. I'm getting sexy signals. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have the dreaded look, which is like super inspired. They actually like put things in their dreads. Right. Yeah, they have beautiful flowing hair. They have uh, the older predators, which have like longer whiskers and things like that. So it's it's a whole thing. It's been thought out. They live in a society. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Even, they have a, a hierarchy and everything is in the comics. And even the way they like interact with things, it's like super deliberate. Like they're like caressing their equipment and like... <laughs> They just find even everything so sexy, you know? Yeah, yeah. They just, like, even, even the way they, you know, caress their skulls and trophies, it's like, whoa, okay, all right, okay, all yeah, right. Yeah, because they think about their, their, their collected skulls and their collective body trophies, and they're like, oh, I remember this time in my life. What a rush. <laughs> I got a kill boner. Perfect. It's, it's sexy when a man has a hobby. And yes. hunting dude, like hunting dudes on another planet, is a badass hobby. It is a badass hobby. <laughs> it, it is. It is. But tip, but typically, here, here's the thing. Oh God, I'm gonna sound. I'm such a fucking nerd. So when when a predator comes to Earth or any other planet, okay, typically, uh, the predators that come here, they're they're performing a coming of age ceremony, which is why they're hunting things because they're 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 hunting things and they're trying to bring the kill back. To their homeland so that they can be recognized as adults so they're usually pretty young young spuds i mean i mean they i don't think they're like super super young but i don't know i don't know how like the whole like age and predator years works but you know they're all pretty sexy out on the town virile yeah. yes it's like it's, <laughs> it's just they're they're, they're finally becoming like big shots in in their society so when they get back that's why you don't really see typically see like old men predators coming around because they've right. already been there done that they're just at home just hanging out just like you know watching tv looking on the predator news at like all the progress of all the younger dudes so here's a question mouse that image i sent you can you put that on screen is that possible <laughs> yeah <laughs> this is important this is maybe is the most important part. Is it really important? So here's the thing. There's this amazing YouTube channel. It's called, I think, Cordery FX. And 
he made this whole like 13 minute video about how the mandibles on the predator keep getting more and more messed up. Okay, look at that. Okay, everybody look at this. Look at this. Okay. All right. So what we have here on the left is Scar from Alien vs. Predator. Okay. God, what we have so cool. What we have on the right is the original Predator, the jungle hunter, right? Yeah. Here's what here's what makes Scar look off. <laughs> As much as I ship him with Lex, I still think he's a little off looking. Oh my god, you ship him with the girl? Of course. Yeah! They were, they were the best. They were! They were! He put acid on her! He was ready to make her his bride! Absolutely. I, I always had like a dream of like being a part of some team with predators. Like the arcade game. Yeah. It's the best. Anyways, 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 getting off. We're getting off topic. This is important. <laughs> All right. So the mandibles. Yeah. The problem with every entry after the first one is the mandibles don't close up that well like it does on the right. No. And so they're kind of like way too open. And so there's there's two problems now that we see here with Scar. He has this like, he has like Disney eyes. He doesn't have the, he's got these like Disney uh, princess eyeballs. That That's okay. You know, he's young. But yeah, yeah. He, here's the other thing. Look at his chin. Like, it's way too low. It looks like an agitated ball sack. <laughs> it looks like he needs to put cream on this thing. Listen, listen, listen. It's it, it just like with humans, genetics play a part. Uh, not all predators are going to look the same. That's probably just his family lip line. <laughs> You know? Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Like, he's got that cool Alan Silvestri music. Dun 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 dun. dun tch, 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 tch. But all of a sudden, he's just applying cream to his chin. Yeah, he's going putting chapstick on his on his chin. <laughs> <laughs> just putting some Carmex on there. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to go. A little, a little moist today. <laughs> I'm a freak. <laughs> so they're 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 sexy. It's true. It's, it's true. It's true. It's true. Listen, listen. They're not all gonna open and close their mouths the same. You know, some people like to have a smile all the time. Some people frown all the time. It's it's the same with predators. I I would absolutely, I would a female predator. Yes, I would a female predator. Uh, might have to keep that helmet on, baby, but. I would. I Female would. predators are cool, but they they rarely leave the planet because they're always hunting on planet. Whoa. Yeah. They, know, the, they're not stay at home moms, you know. The only thing I I would say no to is like, I I just don't think their feet. I don't think their feet are sexy. I think they got. What? I think they got some rough feet. Wait, are you are you into feet? We'll get to that. We'll get to that. <gasps> don't worry. Oh my god, that means he's into feet. <laughs> is that the Next. first thing you look at a person's feet <laughs> is it is it well you laughing makes me think that that's the truth the the eyes first that's that's the gateway to the soul <laughs> and then you look at the most important soul the souls on their feet <laughs> Another thing we need to talk about, we don't have to talk about it at length, but I, I did want to get like your impressions Tell me. on your favorite movie of all time. Oh, my favorite movie is Fifth Element. The Fifth Element. I love uh, it. You, you tweeted out, yes, The Fifth Element is my favorite movie of all time. Yes, I wanted to sing opera because of the blue alien. It's true. Uh, so for those who don't know, the, the, the Fifth Element is a kick-ass film. It's got Bruce Willis, Gary Oldman, Chris Tucker, Mila Jovovich. And midway into the film, everything just stops dead. And all of a sudden, this big blue alien comes out on the stage and starts singing this like awesome, awesome opera song. It's actually a real... It is. Opera song. It is. People don't think that it is, but it is. It's the Aria of the Diva Plana Laguna. 
Yes, yes. Uh, it, it was sung by Sarah Brightman. She's a British soprano. Uh, yes. And it's just this kick-ass sequence where it sounds like something that could never be recreated. Like, it sounds like something both alien and electronic. But then after that, I, I've seen actual performances that have, like, pulled it off. Of course, it's 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 it is an aria, and people sing it all the time. I just think like they like when they did it in the movie, they altered the voice a little bit to make it look to make it sound like oh well, she sounds like a freaking robot. But you can achieve those sounds <laughs> normally. Now, I'm not I'm not a music person, so I, I have just quick questions about that. So it's a really difficult aria, yeah. not only because of its length. But what is it? The the, the uh, arpeggios, arpeggios, arpeggios. Yeah, they have it, it has very incredible runs, and uh, the range is very high uh, because uh, typically that song is sung by a coloratura soprano, which is uh, what I used to be. I don't think I'm that anymore because uh, I can't really hit all the super high notes that I used to hit before. But uh, yeah, I, I that's what I was training. I was training because I was a coloratura soprano and. Uh, that's a that's a very high uh, energy song. Very difficult to sing. Yeah, uh, I'm told it has high Fs, high Cs, but and so you, so you saw that and re were you like that just immediately like okay this is what I'm doing this is the, I am I am singing opera now was it that quick? I was like I want to be that alien. Yes. <laughs> I want to be that alien. <laughs> and then and then I remember my sister was like. You want to be an alien or you want to sing like the alien? And I'm like, both. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be and sing it. And she's like, well, that's like uh, that's like opera singing. And I'm like, whoa, I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 I, and I started trying to do it. <laughs> what the fuck was that laugh? Holy shit. <laughs> Sorry. I'm an idiot. <laughs> How, how many years of, like, training do you think you've had? Oof, a lot. Uh, a long time. A long time. Uh, all of school time. My whole school career was, like, training. But then I dropped out of school, so then that was over. <laughs> I see. I see. I mean, it, pay, it paid off. Like, it, you know, even your performances. Like, you were performing last night at, like, 2 in the morning. Ugh. Like. Ooh, 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 you were there? <laughs> You serenaded us all to sleep. It was amazing. Oh, I, I, I love to sing. I, I love to sing. There was a point in my life where I stopped singing because I couldn't sing because uh, I lost my voice and I was too sick to sing. But I can sing now, so I take advantage and I push my body to its limits. We're, we're all incredibly fortunate to have you uh, perform for us. It's been amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're too so, so we have all these, these influences, but... Uh, I had also heard that at some time you had watched True Blood. Oh God! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's let's talk about True Blood because we hate ourselves. Oh dear God! Wait, were you a True Blood fan too? So here's the thing, I uh, I got in like when the second season started, and I watched all the way up through like the fourth season when they got the witches, and I just like checked God out. God damn it! God damn it! I checked God. out. That was just such a travesty. I was so, so oh. bad. I, you know what? I'm the type of person where it's like, if I get into something, I need to see it to the end. And I was so mad. That ending was so bad. The last season, so bad. All, anything after the second, third season was like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> I, I was, I was gonna ask, like, is, is it worth? Finishing it up. I don't. I don't think I'm going no. to do it. I don't no, think actually, so. No, actually, they're remaking it, so don't worry. <laughs> they are. I'm being. I'm being 100% serious. They're doing a remake of True Blood, and wow. Alan Ball is gonna make it. So it's like again. No. <laughs> you already back. fucked it up once. You're gonna do it again. And we're gonna do it right this time. We're gonna do it right. The first three seasons are legit. It's the first true. three seasons are great. It's true. It's true. It's true. They were. They were really good. Uh, I was a total Alcide fangirl. Uh, fuck Bill Compton. Uh, that was gonna be my. That was gonna be my next question. Are you? Were you an Alcide or Bill girl? I, I had to know. Fuck 
Bill Compton. He's an asshole. <laughs> he's he's terrible. He Male. Alan Ball was obsessed with Bill. And you could tell because he was always at the center of everything. And like they even like rewrote like all the horrible shit that he did. They still made him do some horrible shit, but then they like painted him like he's like, oh my god, this he needs salvation. My salvation! My humanity! <laughs> Suke. 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 That's where I got the. I, I always make the joke of, oh, I want to jump out of a window that is closed. It's because he said, <laughs> <laughs> I heard that on Drill Blood and I'm like, oh my God, I love that. That's mine now. But I started thinking, like, why don't I like this show anymore? Like, into the fourth season. And it was like, oh, because it's man, garbage. <laughs> it was. It was. But it's like, it's too much sometimes for a TV show. Like, like Lafayette went through like three character arcs at that point. It was like, look, Dude. just just let Lafayette be. Don't, stop trying to torture this poor soul, please. I'm gonna tell you the re the problem why the show started sucking, and it's because okay. at the beginning it was about what made special certain people special. You know, uh, Suki was weird. We didn't know what was going on with her, but then there was vampires. But then they're like, you know what? We're gonna make everybody in this whole fucking town special. Yes. Everyone's gonna have a power. Everyone's you're, gonna be something. You're a fairy. You're a witch. You're a werewolf. You're a shapeshifter. Uh, you, you're yeah. a freaking minotaur. Like, what the fuck? No. Stop this right <laughs> now. Why is Tara a vampire? Why did you do that? Not only that, that, oh my god, that's still like Tara turning into a vampire. And they killed her off screen. She got an off a character uh, that was important and she was there from the beginning. They didn't even give her the respect to kill her on street on 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 TV. It was off screen killing? What? I didn't even mind Tara. Like a lot of people were like anti Tara. And I was just like, look, like she's just been through everything underneath the sun, like all the rest of these characters. Like I like their I romance with Pam. But I yeah, just don't like yeah. the fact that they 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 did her dirty like that because it's so messed up. It's just like with uh, it's just like with Alcide. He got an off-screen death too, and I was like, how fucking dare you! By the way, uh, spoiler alert. Spoilers. Oh, yeah. Man, whatever. Nobody's gonna. <laughs> that show's True old. Blood kind of sucked. Nobody's after gonna season watch three. it. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. It's a. It's, it's a got this. It's got this awesome setup. Real quick. It's like. The, uh, basically, this Japanese firm, this ph pharmaceutical firm, has made synthetic blood. So all of a sudden, every vampire just comes out of hiding. It's like, hi, hi, guys. We're real. And now that we don't have to, like, eat you, uh, we're just going to, like, intermingle with you. Yeah. And yeah. it's all about this in this, like, small Louisiana town, I believe. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. it's an awesome setup. But the thing is, like, uh, so many, like, modern television shows... It just doesn't end. It just keeps going and going and going. And it's just torturing these poor characters where it's like, it's too much. It's too much. It's true. It's true. The, the only thing that saved me in those later seasons was Russell Edgington because he was so good. <laughs> he was so good. He was the best. He was, he the, was best. the best. He was, he was one of the reasons why I kept on watching because I'm like, I need to know what Russell Edgington is up to because Jesus Christ. But it's I, like... I, it's, it's, you know, what happened with True Blood is the same shit that happened with Heroes. I don't know if you ever watched Heroes. No, no. Oh, God. So I, I watched Heroes a long time ago, and the first season was amazing. It was a, it was a superhero TV show. All these people, all of a sudden, there was an eclipse, and everybody, and people had powers. But then, like, after the second season, it was like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> But but they they there's a there's a reason and it's because it happened during like the writer strike so it kind of like killed the show. Oh but, god! You know, but True Blood, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so you were you were an Al Seed girl, yeah. I I I I will always be an Al Seed girl. <laughs> I don't I, I don't mean to be insulting, but I had you pegged as an Al Seed girl right away. What? Wait 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 wait. <laughs> what does that mean? So let's go ahead and talk about our next subject. Marriage. Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you've uh, you you said, and I, I agree. This is a real quick one. Uh, you you said like you don't think marriage is in the cards for you. Uh, no. Uh, I, I'm I'm on I'm on board with that. I don't think that's happening for me either. Uh, no. <laughs> 
it's a, it's an interesting thing to like be like comfortable with like you know because like you would think there's like all these expectations around you and uh all that but once you just kind of figure that out about yourself like it's everything just becomes more mellow yeah i think there comes a point in your life where like you just realize oh well this is not for me i'm okay with it yeah yeah i mean i love weddings i actually love the like the whole like process of weddings i love going to weddings and partying at weddings and all that and like you like I, the party I, I... <laughs> do you like the party do you like the party you like the party yeah <laughs> i went to a I, I went to a wedding this weekend actually you did? And it was hilarious. So uh, we had an adorable bride and groom. They looked like two swans. They were adorable. And I knew I was at the right place when the bride uh, for her vows was up there thanking the groom for a bunch of things. And then she said, I, I kid you not, this is real. This is going to dox me. She said, and thank you for introducing me to Japanese anime, especially Bleach. <laughs> I, oh man, I, lo I, I, I had, I had to, I had to just contain myself. <laughs> they're lovely. They're lovely people. And then during the dinner, I was actually seated t next to uh, two divorce attorneys that are engaged. So that was. That was something Whoa. weird. Interesting. That was something weird. Wow, that's that's, uh, that's that's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bring back Robo. Oh, okay. Ah, it was the intern that went to the wedding, not the robot. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and you can shut this down. I'm only gonna say nice things, but I do wanna I wanna I wanna. I want to hit this subject, Mouse, and you can shoot me down. Oh, okay. Speaking of marriage, uh, let's talk about Connor. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> Excuse me. Actually, uh, during uh, the the interview last week uh, with Saikuna, he he brought up an actually a really good point, like the this interview the whole is over. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> The whole like shipping between real people, it can kind of get weird. Yeah. It can kind of get it can kind of get cringe and things like that. True, you know. True. Th there there are times when, you know, I, I come into your chat and people are just like spamming monkey, monkey, Connor, Connor. I'm like, guys, just let off the gas a little bit. Just a little bit, please. Pump the brakes now. <laughs> but uh uh, there, there was just there was two or three things I want to say because I, I I think you two have an awesome dynamic actually and I think it talks about like VTubers and IRL streamers but I did want to bring this up so during your fourth anniversary you had him on as a guest yeah and uh, he was a great guest as normal oh well, and... technically that wasn't him that was Iron Mouse <laughs> that's true <laughs> uh, a fake mouse hashtag fake mouse yeah, fake mouse. yeah. uh. And he, he had mentioned um, he's seen your uh, IRL non-VTuber self. He's, he's seen, like seen your face before. And he called you, no cap, cute. 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 I don't remember that at all. <laughs> so the question we have is did you send him photos or video of any part of yourself oh, beyond that <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just kidding you don't have to answer that you don't have to answer that <laughs> also if you two had children what would their names be no wait you don't have to answer that you don't have to answer what? that but no no seriously you two actually have a very cool chemistry because you can actually bants together um like it's this interesting mixture that I don't actually see. And it kind of makes me understand why, like kind of in the moment right now, so many people are like transfixed on this with you two, because the, you just don't often see this interesting like side of I'm comfortable with this person, but I'm also going to like chew them out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 
But what 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 I, what I want to actually get to with this is your whole setup with interacting with VTubers, interacting with IRL streamers. Do you have like any difference in your mind between them? Well, like when you're on like Hive Mind, do you do you like change the way you're thinking or presenting yourself at all? Uh, no, actually, it's it's so weird because I think it just depends on how comfortable I am with the person. But I don't really do that. I I I tend to think of like, okay, I'm an anim, I'm you know, I'm animal, but you are flesh and blood, three D human, but still kind of, it's like alternate reality anime. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great way to put it yeah i i don't know i just uh i just like to talk to people like i uh you know i've i've hung out with like saikuno and and stuff and like i've talked to normal uh 3d human beings and it's 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 uh it's it's normal for me i guess i don't really see us like any different we're still people it's just uh when you turn on your camera you're a 3d human and then i turn my on my camera i am a demon <laughs> you know i would also say like what helps with that is you're on twitch i think twitch like people talk about this twitch culture and all of that but when you're on it long enough you just kind of learn the ropes a little bit right like uh, you have so much in front of you where you have, you know, live streams, VTubers now. But I think it's just a, this amazing training training session being on Twitch. Do, now, you've, you've streamed on both Twitch and YouTube. Yeah. Do you have any preferences or what, what do you think about the two right now? Well, well Twitch is my home. So uh, Twitch will always be my home. Uh, I, I typically like to go on YouTube for like celebrating milestones and stuff. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I definitely wanted to see if maybe I could do some, uh, members only streams every once in a while. Uh, yeah. Nanners likes to do like secret karaoke streams on YouTube, like late at night. And I'm like, oh, I want to do that too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've also had, uh, you've also had Spanish only streams. Yeah, I have. I'm actually having one tomorrow <laughs> on <Good> Twitch. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be on Twitch this time. Yeah, this time Ooh. it's going to be on Twitch, not on YouTube. Uh, I wanted to uh, have a Spanish... Oh, but only for two hours, because my brain... Yeah. My br I, I just can't... It's hard. Reading Spanish is very hard for me, and... Uh, uh, oh, reading Spanish. Yeah. Is speaking Spanish is easier, would uh, you say? I guess, like... I just feel like, uh, I, d I don't think I'm as confident, because even though Spanish was my first language, uh, it was the first language I ever spoke. It was uh -huh. what I learned first. But then I got into school and I forgot and uh, I became a uh, uh, American, so to speak, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. That's what my mom says to me all the time. Uh, the, the parents that I brainwashed because I'm a demon and they think that I'm their child, you know? <laughs> yeah. So the parents that I brainwashed are like, oh, speak more Spanish. And I'm like, okay. So <laughs> I am now. It's just, it's Puerto Rican Spanish. So uh, I, I think sometimes a lot of stuff that I say is does, does not make sense. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the eternal war. Any any country that speaks Spanish. Oh, no, Mexican Spanish is better. No, Span like actual Spanish from Spain is better. No, it's, it's all fine. Oh, God, fine. I had I had somebody in school one time tell me that my Spanish was low class. And I was like, what oh, the come heck? On. You're so mean. What the fuck? We're in a Spanish language class. What's wrong with you? <laughs> so so are you, are you using Spanish more day to day? Because that's like the key that I find, like keeping up and like honing your skills on a language. It's like that day to day. I, I I do I, I I still talk to my parents in Spanish, but it's like we use our own way of Spanish, so it's not typically like a a, a Spanish that I would speak with uh, somebody that's not my parents. That's not the parents that I brainwashed. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I I'm trying. I like to at least like address people for a little while, and when I stream. Uh, and it's not a lot because then like all the Spanish like makes me so nervous when I read. I need to practice reading. <laughs> Maybe I need to just practice reading in general. All right, so we're at we're at a crossroads here. We could uh, 
we could talk about some more VTubers or we could take some questions. What what are you up for? I can't believe I can't believe you have taken over my interview. I'm on the host side. I'm on the right side of the screen. I'm the host you're of the, the show. Host. I'm the host. I'm the host. You're 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 not the host. It was Speak me. of the Speak of the devil with false side. That's the what it said on the graphic that we sent out that we tweeted out together. I'm supposed to be asking you, oh, why did you start your YouTube channel? Why All right, let's you, do it. Yeah, why well, did you start well, well, your YouTube channel and why are you not streaming a lot? Because I want money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that's fair enough. Fair no, enough. no, no, no. Yeah, so uh, to break it down real quick, uh, yeah, I actually started uh, streaming on Twitch November 17th, 2019. And uh, I just kind of streamed on and off. Oh. And I, I took a hiatus around like May. But I remember saying this. I said this, I said this to Rainy. And I have still the Discord uh, message about this. I was like, I'm, I'm watching uh, Iron Mouse and Zentrea. And I think this English speaking VTuber thing is about to pop off. And guess what? It did. It <laughs> blew up, especially in like June 2020. I think that was like a, I think that was like the pop off moment for some reason. Just like VTubers as like a whole just started blowing up. Um, I didn't come back into the scene until November of 2020 so kind of weirdly late into the game again and when i got back mouse there was like a whole community <laughs> like at that point it wasn't even a community it was like a, a vtuber scene of bunch of like different communities right yeah like there was like real clicks at that point <laughs> was there do you think so yeah but <laughs> the other thing i noticed was hey wait a second these people are like funny like they have real personalities. They're very colorful people. And, you know, they were just saying things that were just like, <laughs> there's like someone, someone's got to, someone's got to point this out. Be on Twitter. People have to know the things VTubers say. Aww. And that, that's how that whole segment came out of uh, when I started streaming again in December of uh, last year. So your, your show started on a stream and then you took it to YouTube? Yeah, so I always knew I was gonna upload the uh, pieces. So the first 30 episodes were live. Oh. The, the first 30 episodes are kind of rambling, you can tell, and they're much slower, but they're all live. So I was actually doing this in front of an audience at the time. Nice, that's cute. And, and then I would like cut it up and then go to bed. And then like one day I just couldn't stream or no, 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 the, the recording messed up. So I was like, I got to re-record this. And I did that and I was like, this sounds way better. <laughs> this, this unfortunately sounds way better than when I streamed. Yeah. So I'd love to get back into streaming, seriously. Like it's a, a totally cool different audience that I want to get back and uh, interact with 100%. But I just got to, I got to get other things lined up first but in the meantime yeah i have this show uh it's on youtube.com slash false id feel free to check it out we have 130 episodes out there and i just talk about vtubers because they say and do crazy things now originally i was just talking about what other vtubers were saying in their tweets but then at the beginning of this year vtubers started doing things like there were like real events Oh, right yeah you, you know this like you've had real events you've had merchandise you've had charities at this point yeah. uh so there's just been more to talk about so it turned into a news program that I that's how it, it kind of came about i love it i that's how i got my new i remember one day i was on youtube and i was looking around and i'm like i was like man why don't people like do like VTuber news, you know? And I, I, I was always looking around, and then one day in my recommended, I saw your little face. I saw your little, <laughs> I saw your little face. But like, you know, your little logo, how you have like your face and stuff, and and it had the the the, the it has like the things VTuber say, and I'm like, I'm like, what is this? I'm like, what the, what is this? Is this like a, is this like a TikTok thing? And then I, I, <laughs> I did, I thought it was like maybe 
like a TikTok thing, and then like people were like uh, uploading it on on YouTube. But then I watched it. I'm like, oh my god, this is like real VTuber news. And then, uh, then I realized I was watching you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, when is he gonna release another video? <laughs> Yeah, it used to be I was doing them like three times a week. Now I do it every weekday, five times a week if I can. You do, you do it a lot, and and I appreciate. It. I'm sure a lot of other people appreciate it too because uh, it's 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 really nice because you miss so much stuff because there's always new things going on and like if you're a VTuber, like you're already super busy as hell, you know. So you're like, man, I wonder what's going on today, and I can just tune in and watch and be like, oh. Why are my tweets on this video? God damn it. <laughs> yeah, there, there are always things going on. My, my only regret right now is I don't get to talk about the small indie VTubers because there's so many pop-off moments now. Like, we just had the atom bomb, you all know, of Hall Live English Gen 2. Yeah. Um, that's going to be insane this weekend. I'm and excited. Just, just different things like that are happening all the time. So I don't get to talk about some of my smaller mutuals. So I, I, I think I need to like carve out a time in these episodes just to like do shout outs and things like that because they really do. They deserve the spotlight. They do. I think, I think you do a lot. Like, like I, I think that's awesome. But you also, I think you also like try your best to like showcase like smaller VTubers too when you like show artwork and stuff like that. I think it's really cool. Uh, I, 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 I admit also, well, sometimes I've watched your videos and I was like, oh, I want to check out that VTuber and I'll make sure to like put a note aside and like be like, okay, when ah. I do my deep dive, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go over their stuff on stream and see. Cause I like, I like doing deep dives too. Cause I love VTubers and I love finding new VTubers all the time. Yeah. So most of you probably know, but Mouse has these VTuber deep dives for, for just hours on end. She goes into the Twitch channels of most of these VTubers, checks out some of their clips. It's awesome. And I remember that one day when uh, you added me on Twitter and I was like, oh crap, here we go. And then all of a sudden it just popped in your mind like, oh, I want to talk about him. He talked about me for a little bit. That was cool. Uh, but you, you robbed me, Mouse. What? You robbed me. What do you that mean? Was, that was supposed to be my victory. I was almost at a thousand subscribers organically. Oh no! And I got three hundred and fifty subscribers overnight because Mouse talked about me. I'm sorry. How dare you? How dare you? I didn't, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just so excited. I was so excited to share your news program with people. No, that was awesome. I thank you again for that. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. No. They, they didn't know thank you thank you for existing and and bringing such amazing news content so that actually leads to a, a question i got on youtube for you oh, for me yeah how does mousy keep this is this comes from hagger on youtube how does mousy keep up keep up with all the vtubers she follows from niji sanji hall live and indies it's quite impressive how in touch she is with so many different vtubers and orgs I think you talked a little bit about that, like the VTuber tag, my show, whatever. But is, is there any other way you come across VTubers? I never sleep. <laughs> I am always watching. She is always watching. It's true. And I always have over 69 tabs open at a given time. Okay, maybe more than 69. <laughs> okay, maybe like 69 windows with like 69 tabs. Nice. <laughs> Nice. I'm I'm crazy. I'm I'm I don't know. It's just it's it's become like such a big passion of mine that I just want to know everything and I want to know everyone and I want I want everyone to see everyone. I want everyone to see everyone. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I don't that's know what it is. It's just this that's is how I am. That's the regret. I don't have enough hours in the day to talk about all the VTubers that I want to talk about. So I got to cut it off at some point and it just kind of hurts. Like when when I. I remember before uh, I became a VTuber, I remember uh, I, I I didn't really have like friends. So uh, I, I, I would always think of, man, I, if, I, if I get some friends, 
uh, or if I like start hanging out with anybody, I would love to talk about things that I like, you know? Like, I always like, uh, thought about like, oh, we could talk about this and we could talk about that. And then, you know, I now I have a lot of friends and uh, yes. now I, I like to talk about all the weird shit that I like. But the thing I like to talk about the most is VTubing and VTubers. And I want to share all VTubers all the time. <laughs> I think uh, I think uh, that's one of the good things that I like about all this stuff. Because it's, it's nice to share things that you find. And uh, uh, people are so inspiring. People are so interesting and inspiring and... I just want everybody to see everyone and just like enjoy them as much as I enjoy them. Well put, well put. And <laughs> with that, uh, you know, when we look at VTubers, ah, how, how do I want to put this? When we look at VTubers, it's amazing that we're getting in more people into streaming and content creation than we ever would. I never thought I would be a streamer. You know, I never thought I would be making videos and stuff like that but all of a sudden you have this tool in front of you that gives you privacy but also like feeds into your artistic side mm. and it's gotten so many more people into the whole platform whether it be twitch whether you be youtube that i don't think this is a fad i don't think this is going away this is just a way to actually present yourself now yeah it's a it's a new form it's like uh it's like with like faceless creators and stuff, you know, Utaite, and uh, I think I think it, this is like this is the next step, and I it's really nice to see like a bunch of like uh uh people who were faceless uh take on their the persona of their dreams, you know. Yes. It's really cool. It's really cool to me. I really like it, and uh, I think uh uh I find it. I I didn't think that I would be doing this either. So. <laughs> <laughs> at all <laughs> or anything at all <laughs> wait if you were if you weren't a vtuber uh what would you be doing uh, unless uh, you don't want to answer that that's fine yeah it's just a it, it's a boring nine to five story right like it's just i just go on playing video games watching movies and just existing i think i wouldn't have this creative outlet to go ahead and get myself out in front of people it just it wouldn't have it wouldn't have crossed my mind at all yeah. and i th i think that's that's true for so many people but now they see vtubers and it's very attractive but look let's let's be real about vtubing the best way to approach it initially is to do it as a hobby right like do do not burn yourself out yep. right I, I, I know like some viewers, it's like, yeah, I watched this one VTuber for like three months and now I'm just kind of bored of them. So I think VTubing is over. And it's like, no, bro, you got to watch more VTubers, man. You can't just watch one. Once you There's watch more. one, you can't There are stop. more. It's an and then, <laughs> yes. You gotta, you got to just expand out your horizons. There's so many more out there. That's true. There's always someone on all the time. I like that. <laughs> Any other questions before I load you up with questions? Oh my God, you're gonna load me up with even more questions? Just who's the, doing the interviewing me? <laughs> mm. <laughs> what oh. else you got? Well, I think I think some of the questions that were given to me uh, through Marshmallow were pretty good. Would you like me to ask you some of them? Sure. <laughs> it's my it's my turn now. Let's do it. It's my turn. You have a very you have a very iconic voice, by the way. No? Yes? I think so. I had to mute myself. I had to burp. <laughs> Should have shown everyone what it sounded like. No, I'm just kidding. I do that too, though. I always, I always mute for like uh, blowing my nose or sneezing, and then sometimes I forget, and uh, I, uh, I, I don't, I don't do it, and then it was like, oh, and I'm like, Ugh. I'm just glad I don't get like these nosebleeds anymore. Oh my god. Wait, what? You get nosebleeds too? So I did. But and I highly recommend this. I don't know if you can. Is get get your uh, get it cauterized. 
get it cauterized. Oh God, I've been. It it changed things overnight, Mouse. The doctors well, have been overnight. telling me to do that, and I'm like, oh. I, oh, you I, don't even feel it. You don't even feel it. You smell it for half a second, but you don't even feel anything. I've been uh well the thing is with the whole like COVID stuff I haven't been able to go into office because it's kind of dangerous for me. Yeah. But I I'm waiting because once it's over I will go and fix my fucking nose. <laughs> it, it it works. I I I can attest. <laughs> okay okay good. That's the second person that told me that it's a good idea. <laughs> I mean robot. Who doesn't <laughs> have a nose? No. He he doesn't have a nose. He's a robot. No nose. No, I, I think I'm pretty sure somebody asked this question already, so I'm not gonna ask ask it. But if it's not there, I'll ask it later. But <clears throat> oh, look, our first question is who's really being interviewed? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> it's supposed to be you, <laughs> not me. Rude. We're here. We're here for you, Melcy. Yeah, but <laughs> oh, push over. Uh, uh, next question: Nuts or bolts? <laughs> Gotta go with nuts. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that was the that was the question that Reddit wanted me to ask you. I was just supposed to ask you why and give no other context. That was it. That was the question. That was the most upvoted question they gave me. To ask why? Well, yeah, just why. Because why, Mouse? Why not? <laughs> I always tell people that people are like, why, why VTuber? I'm like, why fucking not? <laughs> why not? Why, why anything, huh? Why anything? Why anything exists, huh? Why space exists, huh? Why not? But yeah, chat's got the real answer. Why These nuts. <laughs> God damn it. Every time. That's it. Thank you, chat. You guys are cool. I bet you guys didn't expect this robot to say these nuts. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, uh, okay, I have another question. First, I want to say, I really like your voice, False. <laughs> and my question for you is, what gave you the idea for your VTuber avatars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. I'm going to be for real, guys. If you had to categorize VTubers, you could pretty much put them in three categories, okay? okay. This is going to be a little rough, but first category, cute anime girl. Second category, hot icky men, yeah. hot guy. Hot guy. And third category, mascots, the freaks. <laughs> the freaks? The freaks. <laughs> so when I started back in 2019, I looked around. I was like, oh, you know, there are a bunch of anime girls. I'm not going to be an anime girl as much as that's, that's cool. But so I'm going to be something a little bit more general. Uh... And just the robot idea popped into my head. Love it. I love Robo. And then earlier this year in January, I was like, yeah, but I, I, I want to be a little bit more expressive. And that's when I started planning out the androids. Uh -huh. That's that's when I got Droid Boy uh, in the works there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and like so now he, Droid Boy. He has facial tracking. It's been amazing. Um, Fofamit, who is a very, very... Um, Oh, instructional yeah. educational vtuber uh did all the facial tracking work and she even hey i even have facial tracking coming to the robot soon whoa what really the ro the robot is going into the shop and i am soon going to have facial tracking for the robo too they're gonna fix your nuts and bolts <laughs> they're gonna fix your nuts and bolts ah she's driving me nuts you're gonna get a new face plate it's gonna be awesome. What about uh, what about that uh, the the lady version that I saw? Ah, lady. 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 She came she's, out in a video one time, really short. She's very special. I will never voice lady. At the end. I, at the end. At the end. I think you did it like at the end, so that nobody catches it. But I saw it. 
And uh, I do have a plan for a lady. And it, it's going to probably uh, come about pretty soon here. But I may be someday on the lookout for someone to voice lady. Whoa! Will you, get, will you, will you hold auditions to voice lady? Is she going to be like a like an anchor lady? I can't give it away. I can't give okay, it away, okay. Mouse. Don't, don't give it away. Don't give it away. That's exciting. I can't wait it's to happening. see her. She looks pretty badass. She's awesome. I, I love everything about the way she turned out. Uh, her facial tracking is even better. She's so much more expressive. It's hilarious. Oh my god, I can't wait to see her in action. She looks like she could beat me up. <laughs> I like it. She, she really looks like she could beat all of us up. You and, and your intern. That's that's all to my character illustrator, Ionic. They did a fantastic job. Wow, that's wonderful. Thank you, Ionic. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that's wonderful. Okay, we'll go uh, we'll go to the next question. Oh all right. unless there's something else you want to add. Well, I do want to tell you there's a secret that I have with my models. Wait, what's the secret? Well we'll we'll go into that later. I'm just teasing it now. We'll go into that afterward. Oh my god! I love secrets! <laughs> I can keep them! Oh. Oh. For myself? No. But for <laughs> others, yes. Hey! Mouse, what is the big announcement tomorrow? You gotta tell us. I don't... I, I honestly don't know. If I did, I probably would have said it already. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Nobody All tells right. me anything anymore. No one! No one tells me anything! Cause they know better. Oh, but if it's like if it's like a secret with a friend, I could keep it. It's just yeah, secrets yeah. of myself. I can't. I just want to share. I just want to share. God damn it. <laughs> no, your your leaks are very much appreciated by me. Really? <laughs> my favorite get... one was when I was leaking my my demon form, and then somebody I I I did something to trick people, and I leaked a little bit of this outfit, and people were like putting them together like puzzle pieces. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's kind of almost creepy. It was almost like putting body parts together. They they did a good job. They actually like pulled it off. I loved it. I loved it because I tricked people. <laughs> I'm sorry I tricked you. <laughs> I'm sorry, you drink you. Next question. Next question. <laughs> what is your favorite meal and or drink, Robo? I don't, I don't drink or eat. Oh, that's that true. doesn't happen. You're like me. You don't, you don't eat or drink. <laughs> doesn't have to happen. You don't need that. Wait, but what do you consume as a robot? Nothing. Oil. I uh, consume YouTube clicks. So if you'd like to check me out on YouTube.com/slash/falseid. You see. <laughs> That is what feeds me. Feed him. <laughs> click. Click on him now to feed him. If not, he's going to starve. Can I ask you a question? What what way, what pronunciation do you prefer your name? Because when I, when I first knew of it's you. It's all good. All it's of all it? good. Yeah. So if you want to call me false, false eyed, false ID, big D, <laughs> fed, whatever works for you. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. Whatever works for you. These nuts. Because <laughs> when, when I first when I first watched your videos, I called you a uh, false ID, and I was like, "Oh, false because ID!" But then I was like, "False ID! Oh shit!" I'm a, I'm a jerk. I don't introduce myself half the time, right? So, yeah, that's on me. Well, you should. We should because people worry about these things. They're like, "Oh my god, what if I pronounce his name wrong?" Then like, I look you like the asshole. Yo, can we talk about that for half a second? VTuber names are getting out of control, all right? Like, I, I gotta, I actually have to say your stupid names out loud, guys. Like, can you stop? <laughs> can you please stop? What, They're what? just getting crazier and crazier, please. What's the craziest VTuber name you've ever read? Uh, like, any of the new Hall Live Gen 2 ones are just off the wall. What? Like, I love their names! What are you well, talking about? Well, go ahead. What are their names, Mouse? Hickles, what are their Bales, names? Hickles, Hickles, Bales. Sada? Is it is or is it Bell or Balls or what is it? What is it? It's Bales, <laughs> like Bales a bulb. Uh huh. 
I think. I hope it is. Yeah, you not, think. We not, don't I'm, know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Huggles. I'm sorry. If it's, if it's, if it's, <laughs> it's Bales. Like Bales above. There's a rumor that uh, she is. No. <laughs> None of that. No rats. Stop. No. None of that. None of that here. We do not do that here. <laughs> you're, gonna get in, I'm gonna, you're, you're gonna get in trouble with me. I will end it. No. Stop it right now. Bad. I got the biggest smile on my Bad face robot. right now. Bad robot. Bad robot. I, <laughs> I will cut you off immediately. Stop it. She's my I've, cousin. I've... I see. She's my cousin. I'm a, I'm I well I'm not I'm not a mouse or a rat, but I mean technically I I I named mouse, so we we are cousins. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like all the girls. They're all so cool, Fauna. Yeah, they're and awesome. Sana so <sighs> There's just something about Sana. I don't know. She's just she she I want to protect her smile till the end of time. You do understand that she is the space VTuber. I know right? she's the only she <laughs> is the only way I will I will appreciate space. We have a new bird tuber and space tuber here just for you, Mel. That's right. That's right, cause she cause oh my god, she's a bird. <laughs> yeah, but she's an owl. And I've always said I'm a little bit more tolerant towards owls than normal birds because my grandmother, uh, my earth grandmother, the grandmother that I brainwashed into thinking she was my grandmother, <laughs> she loved owls and they were all over her home. So I, I, I had to pretend to not be afraid. So I've developed an immunity against owls, kind of, but not really. Maybe. Maybe. Owls are just like flying cats. Prove me wrong. <laughs> Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. They're flying cats. They act like cats. They just fly. Prove me wrong. <laughs> you can't. Anyway, next question. Anyway. <laughs> next question before you get in trouble. Ahem. <clears throat> to false. Would you ever consider hiring other staff? I'd love to be an unpaid intern. Oh, why, thank you. Yeah, the problem right now is is the turnaround time. So you get all this news and you want to talk about it now. So collabing with others might actually speed that up. I would just have to figure it out. The biggest hurdle is like recording it and editing it. Yeah. And yeah. to like give you an idea of like how I try to even speed it up, I have this, <laughs> I have this Python script that actually cuts up most of the video for me. What? So I can, so I can actually get it pumped out the same day if I can. Really? Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I was going to ask you about that. Do you edit your own videos? Yeah, because it's it, like just to get it turned around, I can't hand this off to just anybody right away. Like I, I got to do it myself. Right. Oh my God, but, that's like five head programming. But I like the idea. I like the idea of getting more folks involved. There are other VTubers that have said they'd like to do something like this before so i should i should start reaching out to them you should and get that getting that under the works yeah you should if you feel comfortable you, you totally should it's always nice to have uh you know people to to bounce things around with but that's a, a great question great question yeah wow maybe one day i can be an unpaid intern for a day okay never mm. mind <laughs> Why won't you promote your intern to full time? He deserves a promotion. Because he's a traitorous bastard. Oh my god, he's a traitor. He's a traitor. He's a traitor. <laughs> Wait, why? Why is he a traitor? What did he do? Tried to have me canceled. Okay, yeah, that's true. Uh, I mean, <laughs> but I mean, one look at that face, and you can just instantly forgive him. You know, you forget all the wrongdoings that he's done. Just a little flash of that smile. Yeah, but I'm cuter, right? Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I can't say no to your smile. I was not expecting you to answer that quickly. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You're cute. You're adorable. If I could blush, I would be doing it right now. I bet you're blushing underneath all those bolts. <laughs> Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing your intern's never going to be full-time. 
it's a shame. Oh, sorry. it's just a shame. I'm oh. sorry, intern. We tried. We tried. Oh, do you have a waifu? And who is she? I don't have a waifu. I don't. I don't have an Oshi. I don't have like a favorite VTuber or anything like that yet. But I do have. I okay. I do have VTubers like that. I have thought of that. Like, oh yeah, I, I would make an agency with you guys, oh. right? Like. Yeah, yeah. Would you care I, to I've... share that list? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So to my knowledge, these are all indies. I have not talked with any of them. They have no idea I'm going to talk about them tonight. Oh, shit, wait. This could be, <laughs> this could be dangerous. It could be dangerous. <laughs> oh, no. It, it, it's all good. But here's the thing. My whole idea is find people who are nice who you know not not just about positivity but they're just nice you know they're supportive right mm. and find people that are still a little bit hungry find people that just enjoy vtubing right yeah. so with that thought here's my five vtuber first wave this to all my other mutuals i love you guys in my head, I literally have this planned out in waves, right? And gins. So here, here's gin one. Wait, 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 hold on. This is all his opinion. I have no yes. part in this. That's correct. I don't even know if you know half these people, Mouse. Okay. So maybe, maybe, who knows? So uh, the first one you totally have to know it's Lumi Tuber. Oh, Lumi! L Lumi! She was Lumi. on Melody uh, yesterday, Lumi's actually. She's so special. She's such a ray of sunshine. She is a Finnish wolf girl, a Finnish wolf girl from Finland that goes a woo. And oh. she, that was really good. <laughs> and she is just always on, right? Like she, I have seen her be a fantastic friend uh, to her, her other friends, be it Mary, Mary Dog, Alfide, Enos. She is a fantastic friend to them. And she just gets it, right? Like, she likes trying out new things. She likes presenting. She has just, uh, if I had to recommend one English speaking VTuber, it's Lumi. It is. Wonderful, because she's the, entertaining. Mm. She's the all arounder. It's so easy. Okay. And uh, you can find her at twitch.tv slash Lumi Tuber, L U M I Tuber. Yeah. All right. Next one, Ooh. the Bananual. Bananual. He is at twitch.tv slash the Bananual. Wait, is he and... a singer? Yo, he is. Yes. Okay. Here's the thing, Mouse. You're his favorite VTuber. Am I? All right. And you two have a weird amount of things in common. <laughs> a weird amount of things in common. Okay, so he sings opera too. Oh. He. he he has a talk show as well. Oh, he does? Yes. So he's had on um, Konzetsu. He's had on Randon, Happy Fubar, Kira Kira Cat. He's had on tons of awesome guests. Bro, I love Randon. Holy shit. My only thing to Bananual. Bananual, you got to stop the live cam. You got to go full-time VTuber. That's the condition. Oh, shit. That's it. You got to go. You got to choose a side, man. Conditions you got have to. been set. <laughs> All right. Next one. Vivi Chan the Dragon. Vivi Chan. V yeah, Vivi uh yeah, twitch.tv Vivi Chan the Dragon oh, altogether. She, she has like blue hair, right? Yes. Ah, uh, I think I oh my god, I think I saw her the other night. I was lurking and and I I I passed by her stream. I don't know, I think, but I do recall Vivi Chan. Okay. Here, I'll, I'll just say this real quick. She finally got her uh, her model. Looks fantastic. Lots of great animations. Here's the thing. If you told me that she was your little sister, I would believe it right away. What, really? Without question. She, you two just have the same off-the-wall energy <laughs> that I'm like, yo, okay, all right. Uh, very nice. Collabs a lot. Fan fantastic VTuber. All right. Wow. Two more, two more. Next one, uh, not well known. Ice Bell. Ice 
the oh is she a witch uh what she is she is an ice cream vtuber oh oh i know who that is she has brown hair and she's she looks really cute she is from i believe she's she's from norway and uh it's at twitch.tv slash i s a as an apple h so mm. isa uh you can find her on twitch at iced bell and she's she sings she enjoys all the wild virtual motion capture full 3d stuff and she you know you just love it when you see a vtuber just present you know what i mean like you know they just put out like a song they're not expecting anything big uh, back from it they just do it and yeah. that's what ice bell does that's what ice bell she's does so yeah cute. she's so cute she's like an ice cream all right last one rococo rococo prufe hailing from the united kingdom she is a gremlin <laughs> she is a gremlin clown uh what? that yes yes Wait. so go ahead what a gr oh a what she is a gremlin clown and she makes all of her own art she she basically to my knowledge makes all her own models a uh, lovely accent what's and her, what's again her, what's her twitter name so it's the same let me spell it it's ro coco with k's oh with k's and then prufe p r u f e i oh i've seen her she has the mask that like moves with yes. the mouth yes yeah, she has a she has around. a mask when she takes off the mask a little bit of a different look, a little bit of a sharper teeth look. Bro, I know my VTubers, damn it. <laughs> you see? You see me? <laughs> so that's like wave one in this imaginary first agency that I have. Uh, and while we're on it, I, I, I'm going to go ahead and real quickly just give it out to three others real quick. And then we're, then we're gold. Yo, Aussie VTubers, Australian VTubers just hit different. They are built different. Like, there's something about them that just go above and beyond all the time. So, first one up, Eye Candy. Eye ah, Candy. Candy! I love Candy, so, oh my god. I love, I stand Candy till the day I die. She, she is amazing. Um, Listen, they there's just something about her she is such a star she is so special yes. i will always 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 if i see her online i have to rate her because she's just too amazing and our schedules are so different it's it's rough because we're on different opposite ends of the planet but i would i would love to do a collab with her one day soon because i just i just love her she's so fun and she's fucking funny so so she, uh, I was going to say this offline with you, Mouse, but I'll just say it now. She is a fantastic guest I hope you get for this show. Oh, Absolutely. Oh, yeah, of course. So, so here's the thing about, I, I think that the three of us at least share, is VTubing to us is just like a hobby we would dump all our money into whether we had an audience or not. <laughs> like, it's just a thing we know about ourselves. We, we're, we're too into it. And that, that's eye candy. That's AI candy with two eyes at the end. No Y. Oh, she's so great. She's amazing. Okay. La last two, I promise. Mm. Uh, the next one is Zero Views. Oh, I know him. He's the, he's the, uh, uh, he does like, uh, Muay Thai, right? He's like a cosplayer and he does like, he, uh, yes. Mm. Yeah. So this, that's, uh, Zero Views all together with a Z at the end. And he has, uh this amazing setup where he go he goes all in on his transitions they're like full anime pokemon transitions sometimes it's insane oh i've seen some of them before they're really good it's so funny because i saw that he tweeted he he tweeted uh that me and neon were like following him and i think he thinks <laughs> that i started following him recently but it's not true i've been following you for a while you just never noticed but he, yes he does cosplay as himself I'm not too big into the like the IRL face reveals, but both like him and Lumi just pulled it off so well that I'm like, okay, you get a pass. Like it's amazing. You look good. 
you're very handsome. She's very, very beautiful. Fine, fine. She's gorgeous. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that, yeah, what the fuck? Last. What? La last one. We have another VV. This oh. is vividly ASMR or vividly VV. Ooh, the, the radioactive one. Yes, yes. I like her. She's cool. <laughs> nuclear. She goes nuclear. She's Australian as well. My my favorite stream that I saw of her recently was, no, to to her credit, she pulled it off, but it took her two and a half hours. She had to name all of the states in the United States as an Australian. Oh God! And it, it was just like perfect content. It was so good. I don't think even I could do that. Yeah, I was kind of like, I was kind of embarrassed for myself. I was Holy like, yo, uh, I gotta I do don't that. Know if I... Aussie VTubers hit different. That's all I'm saying. So she, she, she's an Aussie VTuber. She does some ASMR too, but she's just an awesome streamer. She's really cool. I've seen her a couple of times. I've only seen her ASMR stuff, and I really like her, uh, her uh, amazing look. She looks really good. Fun fact. There was what? there was, very <laughs> fun fact. There was there was gonna be a small chance that we would have been related, but it just didn't pan out. Ah, uh, <laughs> some be some behind the scenes. Yeah, Iron Vertex fun there. I hear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just it just didn't pan out. Uh, we we were very close to being related. It would have been very nice, but who knows? Maybe in the future, maybe. Because her her model is amazing too. It's so my expressive. dream is to be related to every VTuber <laughs> on the planet. <laughs> So, Everyone. so for those who don't know, me and Mouse are of this religion that we, I don't think have named yet, where we want everyone just to be a VTuber. Yes. The whole everyone, world. Everyone must become tube. Yes. Your mom, your dad, your dog, your priest, your convenience store clerk, the president, everyone. Everyone. Because here's the thing. It, okay, so VTubing does this thing. It gets back to the internet before there was a Facebook or a MySpace and everyone just uses their normal names, right? Like, <laughs> it gets to the cool time in the internet where we had avatars and, like, sick handles, right? Like, we're back at it. It's like a beautiful Bulls thing. 69. 69XXX, yes. That, <laughs> yes. It gets right back into it, baby. We're back. We did it. <laughs> Here's the problem, Mouse. When we get our grandmothers into VTubing, they're just going to Facebook it again, and it's just going to be Normieville again. <laughs> but for right now, it is a ma magical, beautiful time. <laughs> Granny. Granny's going to be on Facebook Live. <laughs> Facebook Gaming. <laughs> Whatever the fuck. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what Facebook is called with their streaming stuff. Yeah, it's Facebook gaming. You got it. She's going to be you a minion. <laughs> <laughs> a minion tuber. <laughs> oh, man. That's going to be a thing. That's oh, going to be a thing that just popped into my head where like companies are just like, yeah, just use our, our, our minion. Well, or... I mean, it's already happening. You know, Netflix has Enko. And, uh, but, but what I'm saying is they're just going to give out models for free to people. So anyone can be that, right? True. We had Sonic as a VTuber. Who knows? Mario might be next. You never know. Mario. Mario. Mario might be next. We might get, a, a I don't know, Disney Princess VTubers. Who knows? It's oh, happening. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What the? No. Disney already owns everything. They're going to own us too. Yes. No, and I, I, I will sell out right away. Right away. <laughs> to be a part Yo. of the mouse. <laughs> Yo, mouse. Hook me up. <laughs> I will. I'll call Mickey. I, you know, I have his direct <laughs> number. We're both mice, by the way. Which I'm not, though. <laughs> but that's, <laughs> that's the joke. <laughs> That's the joke. I'm not a mouse, but my name is Mouse. But I am a mouse, but I'm not. <laughs> Barbie VTuber. Did you know Barbie is already a VTuber though? Barbie what? used to Barbie used to stream. I don't know if Barbie still streams, but Barbie used to stream on her channel. She's a VTuber. Did you see uh the Chuck E. Cheese streamer? 
dude yes that was that was terrifying <laughs> it was like hours of silence okay so for those who didn't see it it was someone dressed up in this like chuck e cheese full like costume and he was just like playing fall guys for hours on end and he said Not poggers he didn't say anything for hours okay and then all of a sudden he turns to the camera and goes poggers <laughs> scared the crap out of us i just i you know what i want because I've seen Wendy's streaming on, on Twitch. I just want them to get a VTuber Wendy's. Like, come on, yeah. man. Why? I'm all in on... Wendy's Wendy's is the quintessential. That's the, that's the one I'm on board with right away. Dude, I have to admit. just bring Wendy's... Make Wendy's real. Bring her to life. Would she be a Sundari? She would totally be a Sundari. She would totally be Sundari. She totally would be. And she'd be like, huh? And she'd wave her little <laughs> pigtail thingies around and be like, huh? And be great at games and be like, hey, it's not like I care about winning the game or anything. <laughs> more like, well, oh yeah, well, people think, people say that Wendy's is more like a yandere, which I could see that too. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get into Sundare. We'll get into that. What? <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't get to tell you about my agenda here tonight, Mouse. W well, moving on to the next question. Uh, <laughs> will, when will female false appear? I'm hoping soon. Oh, she's she's real. She's called Lady. It's happening. Her name is Lady. 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 Like I, like we have ID the Lady droid boy. Lady's nuts. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's not here right now. It's good. Okay. Hopefully she won't get mad at me. Hopefully. She up here. Please don't beat me up or, or beat me up. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, might, I might be into it. I don't know. No, don't beat me up. I'm not into that. It's just a joke. Uh, um. <clears throat> Next question. What is the feeling or experience of becoming the first ever VTuber newscaster representing all of the VTuber agencies and communities? It's awesome. It feels like I'm doing something unique right now. And I absolutely welcome someone knocking me off whatever pedestal I'm on. Like, I am absolutely ready to just have someone blow me out of the water any day. Like, I think there's plenty of room here. Uh, it's cool too. Cause you kind of get to see who is interested in this kind of stuff. Like there, there are a lot of known VTubers mm. that watch my show and, uh, will leave a comment and then immediately delete it. Like, Oh, I, you know, I, I think they think I'm dangerous or something like that. You know, <laughs> it's the voice. It's intimidating. Oh, no, oh, I don't cold uh, metal exterior. Yes, well, that's that actually is dangerous. Yeah, you should be careful of that. But for the rest of it, it's fine, guys. I don't, I don't, I don't bite. I know Mousy likes biting, but I don't bite. I don't uh, do that. What? <laughs> Maybe no. We're getting into that. Don't worry, Mouse. What? What? What do you mean? No. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, <laughs> back to people sending you messages and deleting them you know you get those a lot you get people tweeting at you being like i'm coming for your job you know what it's really been amazing no one has sent me any like combative or negative messages ever oh, not fun. once i don't I, I don't have one I get a lot of I, like uh, messages of people asking me how like to get started and stuff, and I always feel bad because I feel like I can't give good advice because I'm like, man, I just started, just do it, just do it, just do yeah. it, just do. It. Even if you don't have a model, like people start off with the with a JPEG or a PNG or whatever, just start stream first stream and see if you like it. And if you don't like it, make a video, see if you like it. And if you don't like it, then well, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, this is not a, an inexpensive hobby, you know? Like, it can take some cash if you really, really want to be super expressive. Yeah. So, 
but you could start just... off like me. Like I started with the yeah. placeholder body. Like I took, I overtook the body of of a random person, and I inhabited her body, and then I left her body, and I left her soulless, and now she's gone forever. <laughs> oh God. Um. Oh poor baby mouse. Oh my God. <laughs> She's somewhere. I don't know where she is. Dumped away. No scare. But what we're saying, <laughs> what we're saying is go into the shallow end first, guys. All right. See if streaming is your thing first, right? Like you can be a PNG tuber. You can just be a little still image for uh, the time being, right? Unless mm -hmm. you're some established content creator or you have a million friends that you know are going to immediately show up for a debut. Don't sweat it. Just get out there, start streaming, see what you think about it, and then start your plans. Bro, fuck that... a debut. I didn't have one. <laughs> now you have had a re-debut because you I... had your V you had your V Shoujo re, re debut back in November, and that Bless was you. that was cool because you had like info cards and all that. That was awesome. Yeah, it, it felt really weird and and fun at the same time. I I could see the appeal of wanting to do a debut after I did that because. It was so fun. Like, it was like you were doing a presentation at school, but, like, everybody was there for you and, like, hanging out with you, and it was really fun. And and uh, I was super nervous, but I had a lot of fun. And I'm like, right. oh, I see why people like doing these things now. <laughs> when we started, debuting was not a thing. Like, no one had said anything like that, right? Like, no um... No one! There was no debut. There was, like, no Oshi mark. There was no, uh, no. fan name, no hashtag. No, no. None of that stuff existed. It was just like, bitch, just stream. Exactly. Get out there. Show yourself. Like, at some point, everyone's got to start somewhere. Even Takino Sora of Hololive, their very first member, her first stream only had 13 viewers. All right? Oh, so don't God. don't sweat it. Yeah. Not that, not, you, you don't even have to get your... Yeah, you don't even have to get that many at all. Yeah, it's I think I was thing. like at one, and then it went up to three, and I was so excited. I was like, oh my god, there's three people watching me! What the fuck? And then you find out two of them are bots, but <laughs> it's it's good. It's good. I remember when it hit five people, I was like, oh my god, this is crazy. This is crazy. Five people want to watch me? I'm so fucking boring. <laughs> How wrong you were. How wrong you were. I was sitting at like 50 to 70 viewers for so long. Until I didn't, I I think on my birthday of 2020, I peaked at like 60 viewers. Was that early into the year? Yeah, it was in January 2020. I remember because I remember you blowing up. Like that had to been like what May? No, even earlier than that. Uh, but yeah, I I met Mel. I met Mel around. I was so oh god, I was so nervous. I was so <laughs> nervous. I was so nervous because I really liked her. I thought she was really cool. And, and I, I, lo I loved Silver and, and Zen. But I was so scared because I was like, oh my god, they're not going to want to talk to me. What the fuck? But then they were like, you're dumb. We're talking to you. And I'm like... Aww. Uh... <laughs> and then uh, now they're like my greatest friends. And... Uh, it, they're it was, awesome. Yeah, they're really awesome, and and uh, I remember like I listen, man. I I Mel helped me out a lot, and I will always always be there for her because I I, I I love that girl. <laughs> uh, she's done so much for me, and I recognize that she's done a lot for me. But she always tells me, no, no, no. You did for yourself. I, 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 I just, I just met you. I'm like, Jesus, can you be what? any more angelic? She's an angel. An angel. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She's worse than me sometimes. I mean, it's super clear. Like you two are real friends in your streams. Like it's, it's so obvious. This isn't all like for show. This is real. No, right? we're all friends. And me, me and Nian too, like, holy shit. I was a fan of hers for so long. And then, like, I think the day that we, we streamed together, I cried. Yeah, we did. I cried. And then I found out uh -huh. that at the same time that I was crying on stream, she was crying too. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> we were both crying it's at the horrible. same time. <laughs> I don't know. It, 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 it is what it is. We're, we're, we're just happy to be here, damn it. God damn it. Hey, Mouse, are we going to... 
be, are we going to see you be happy with any other new members with V Shoujo sometime? Any oh. new members to V Shoujo sometime? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe might be where, coming. Maybe. Where do Where do you see like V Shoujo going? Do you Do you see them expanding? Do you want them to expand? Are you happy where they're at right now? Oh hell yeah! Like I think uh, I have to say uh, it's it's great that we're all together and we're all like. Uh, having fun and creating content but like first first we we're never doing generations ever uh we're just ah. yeah we, we we're not doing that generations is not gonna be a thing with us and and i like that because i feel like uh i don't know i'm, I'm not like i think generations are cool but they're not really my thing you know what i mean <laughs> yeah 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 it, it's more like we're just a family and we're gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until family explodes I'm just so surprised I've not seen more agencies do the V Shoujo model. We have these fantastic startups. They're amazing. I love all their talents. But just getting established indie VTubers together, I, I'm just kind of flabbergasted. We don't see that approach more often. I mean, it's, bound, it's, it's probably bound to happen one day again. I don't yeah, know. it's bound to happen. It's just, it's just your success, though, is just so evident. I'm just, I don't know. I'm a little flabbergasted, that's all. But, I think uh, um, we, it, it's just different because, like, we were all friends before. And true. we're like, it's time. Avengers, assemble. No, <laughs> <laughs> we were all friends before. And I, it, it's like, it's, it's the same thing with, like, collabs and stuff like that. I, so here's my rule when collabing with people because I get a lot of like questions about collabs and stuff, which I yeah. don't like to call them collabs. I call them play dates because they're fun for me. Uh, but uh, I, I, uh, not to say, I'm not saying that collabs aren't fun. It's just, I don't see it as like, I just see it like hanging out. If I don't vibe with you as a person, uh, I can't, I can't do it. And uh, I, don't, I don't know why. It's just, uh, it's, it's hard for me. It's hard for me to like uh, put on that that facade where it's like, oh yeah, we we get along great. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I like it... if I vibe with you, let's do it. I vibe with you, which is also a uh, 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 <laughs> I'm kind of like I'm kind of like uh, uh, putting myself out there, but it's like it's like with the show. It's like I feel the energy from people, and I feel if like our energies resonate, and I'm like. I know that it will, which is why you're here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's one of those other pieces where for VTubers, they get a lot of offers for collabs and things like that. But it's kind of like, hey, can we just kind of get to know each other just real quick, just beforehand? Yeah. Like, instead of walking into this yeah. live in front of everybody. I feel I feel like it, it's, it's a common, like, uh, uh, issue that comes up because it's like, so many people want to connect with each other and they want to collaborate. But it's like, I know that there's other people that feel the same as me, where it's like, if I don't know you, it's going to be very difficult for me to uh, spend time. I need to spend time with you before and get to know you before I decide that we can collab. Okay? Okay. You know the uh, collab that I want to hear? What? I would love to actually see Gun Run and Moten, Moten Doe, uh, together on this couch. Yeah! I want to see it. I want to see it. So you guys are having your one-year anniversary. Do you think we could set it up? Do you think it can happen? I think with I think with Gun it might happen, but I don't think MTD would, would want to do it because he told me that he doesn't want to, that he'll die. <laughs> <laughs> He told me he'll die, and I'm like, well, I don't want you to die, so okay. <laughs> Poor thing. I think it's, he's just really, like, just... Uh, shy. <laughs> Fair enough. It's just one of those things when you look at the the setup. I mean, we're talking about a founder with the gun run. Uh, fantastic individual. For, you do, for those who don't know, um, again, very integral with the foundation of Twitch. Mm. And even the creator of this... IRL backpack apparatus that allowed people to actually stream on the go, right? Yeah. So then to 180 and go fully digital is just an amazing story, and I think it needs to be told. I agree. 
I completely agree. I agree. And I, I would love to have gone on. I, I, I think he's really cool. And he is very... He's just an amazing uh, human. You know? And I think... <laughs> M it's true! No. I think he's an amazing human. And I think MTD is also an amazing human. And I would love to sit down and talk to them more in like this type of setting. Not like me being absolutely afraid that I like embarrass myself. No, it'll be Every fine. Every time it'll I mess with them, I'm like, <laughs> and they're like, "Mouse, calm down," and I'm like, "No, we can't calm down." Uh, from my my quick experience with him today, incredibly chill, very nice. Thank you again, sir. Very <laughs> much like, helped us out. He's so chill. <laughs> he's so chill. And then you have me like having a fucking meltdown in the corner, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Boss is chill. Chill, boss. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I would love, I would love to have them both on here. Uh, oh, oh, when it's our one year anniversary, which is coming. So, holy shit! What the fuck? It's almost November. What the fuck? We got three months. What? We the got, what? We got, th we got three months to make this happen. Dude, yeah. how did this get here so fast? <laughs> We're already at uh, close to nine months, so we're already at the baby phase, right? So it's already gone down. Oh my god, the baby's gonna be born! <laughs> oh no, the baby! <laughs> Holy shit, that's a... that's really something. Any more uh, marshmallows, or should yeah, I...? Yeah, I got a couple oh. more. You want... You oh want boy. To... What? Are you afraid? Don't be afraid. No, no, no. Let's go. I was not expecting any. You what? Why? <laughs> I was expecting exactly zero. No, what do you say? Oh my god, you're worse than me. That's me. That's me. <laughs> when I opened the marshmallow and I was like, send me questions, and then I was like, oh shit, they sent me four hundred questions. What the fuck? I thought I'd get like three. <laughs> Just like with the harem applications. The harem applications was for dick. Well, I was gonna do that for content, Mouse. I was gonna fill it out for content on the video. And then she took it down before I could. I'm sorry. Do you want me to post it back up? <laughs> yeah. I have Let's a couple of people that got again. mad at me. They were like, why did you close it? And I'm like, oh, fuck. It's like, <laughs> do you, do I, I, I only thought, I thought I was only going to get like a hundred applications. I didn't expect that many. You know what? She doesn't like procrastinators. You're out. You don't get in. That's what it is. <laughs> you got to be timely. <laughs> You gotta be a go-getter, you know? I also um, love that that crap that Melody said, like, oh, I wouldn't get anywhere near this amount. Yeah, right, Mel. Come on. Come on. Dude, right? Right? Come on. People talk shit about me, but it's like, you're just as bad. You are all just <laughs> as bad. You say the same thing. Say, I'm not gonna get any. It's like, what the fucking fuck? Yes, you are. <laughs> no, please. <clears throat> Next question. What yes. is your main goal as a VTuber? To promote other VTubers. The bigger I am, the hopefully the bigger other VTubers can get. I have I have personally heard like especially okay, so it's not even just VTubers. It's the artists also on my show. They've said to me, "Yo, I'm getting like more traffic now and I think it was because of your video." Like, so that straight up makes my week. Like Yay. that, that makes it all come together. Every little so, bit helps, you know? Like, uh, you know, I, I don't really look at numbers too much because uh, at this point I don't because it really is what it is going to be. But I just know the more consistent I am, the more my audience is there, the more it means that eyeballs are, are, are on other fantastic content creators. That's all. Yeah, me too. I feel the same way, you know? That's why I like to do... Uh, deep dives, but also uh, that's why I love Twitch so much because the raid system is wonderful. And I know a lot yes. of people think, oh, raids don't help. Yes, they do. They do help because it you get more eyes on you, and you know some people will stay, some people won't stay, but that's okay, you know. Yeah, uh, it's cool that we have two different platforms right now. So with Twitch, it's way more into chat interactivity. We have the raid system, the gifted subs. And then on YouTube, you have this other kind of cool alternative where it's all about the streamer, right? It's not so much about chat and raids and things like that. It's way more focused. So I think it's awesome that we just have options right now. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, options are good because options means more eyes. Yes. All eyes on everyone. Everyone deserves to be seen. Next question. Next question. <laughs> oh, hey, Iron Mouse and False. This question is for False. Thanks for all the VTuber coverage you do for us. But do you ever feel sad thinking no one has covered your exploits? I find your banters with ID very entertaining. What are you talking? Uh, I I have plenty. I'm I'm popular. I'm cool. People know me. We do. We all know. I'm very you. I'm very important. You are important. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a thing where I'm in this weird kind of position where I'm not really streaming, right? And I'm just kind of making this show. So people don't come to me like they normally go to other VTubers, right? Like like you said, Mouse, they are usually coming to them and through live streams. So that's on me. I'm, I really love to do this full time. And when I do it full time, I'll get back into streaming. I promise it's happening. But until then, I'm, I'm just so happy that day after day, people come back and watch. Somebody hug this robot. I, I'm just surprised like oh, day no, after day. <laughs> Never mind. I was gonna give you a hug, but uh, I don't. I don't think I can. Put up my protective barrier. Oh. I'll just hide and admire you from behind the couch. That's all right. I mean, I'm the host, so. Uh, no, 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 you're not. No, no, you're not the host. I am the host. How dare you! <laughs> All right, host. Next question, host. Next question. <laughs> hey, false. What made you decide to do the VTuber trend? I don't. Okay, so it's fair to call it a trend. Like, I don't call so? it a fad. Is uh, calling it a fad is what I kind of get. That what kind of ticks me off. But calling it a trend that that's that's legit. Yeah. Okay. A, a fad is like, oh, those jeans are a fad. Jeans are in season. And then it goes out of style. Yeah. Right. 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 Uh, here's the thing. Again, when you're a VTuber, you have more privacy. Mm. And this is coming from someone who in my life, I have been doxxed. I've had my real address put out there. And then uh, someone said, get him. What? So privacy actually does matter a little bit well, to wait, me. Just, wait, what just the a little fuck? bit. That happened to you? Yep. Oh my god, I want to know more, but I don't want to pry because I don't, I don't, that's like, that's like really like traumatizing. It's a, it's in a prior life of mine, right? Oh, and shit. I was a little bit more of a firebrand. I uh, know oh. how to take care of myself now. Absolutely. I see. So that, that, that's the part of that. The other thing about being a VTuber is it does unlock some strange artistic side to you. You're kind of acting, you're creating a character, but you're still yourself, obviously. As a matter of fact, I run polls all the time on my channel. And like 88% of those responded to this question of, do you want to see the character or do you want to see the person? 88% said, we want to see the person. All right. They're there for you. But we kind of spice it up a little bit, you know? We kind of get in there a little bit and kind of make it a little bit more presentable. So that that's the appeal. That's the appeal. Spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it. Come on. I know. I, I, I'm a freaking weeb. I love anime. That's why I love VTubers. And I, no, that's not why, but... <laughs> I get the appeal, you know? Get the peel. Oh, uh, wait. Were you a weeb or no? What are you talking about? Were you I've a never weeb? seen. Were you a weeb? What's a weeb? Oh my god. He was a weeb. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you were a weeb. You were probably like Damn. level 5 weeb too. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you? <laughs> should have seen me, Mouse. You should have seen me. I was like, ah. Oh. It's over for anime. All this slice of life crap is here. It's over. Ah. Uh. Oh. I I'm from the days of anime when it was all about 
Parental discretion is advised. Oh, yeah, the whole, like, oh, it's, it's, it's cartoons, but for adults. Woo! This isn't, this isn't your daddy's anime. Like, what does that even mean? Like, speed, what? What? Speed racer? I don't know what that means. That makes no sense. Yeah, I'm from those days. Wait, I'm from what's, those your, days. what's your favorite? My absolute favorite anime is The Melancholy of Suzumiya Haruhi. Back in the day, I've even watched all of Endless 8. I have powered through it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> My power levels are unparalleled. I fucking hate Endless 8. God damn it. It's the, why did they do that to us? That was just so, ugh. Oh. I can't believe that's your favorite anime. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I kind of like a little bit of that mixture of like the supernatural and comedy. So like my favorite movie is Ghostbusters right it's that it's that mixture like ghostbusters to me isn't even like a movie it's an experience it's like kind of what allowed me to understand like yeah adults are kind of just winging it they're kind of making it up as they go along don't worry life can be fun I like see. that that's what i that's what some of that appeal is but i like sci-fi i like paranormal stuff yeah <sighs> So you were into like, uh, were you into like all that sci-fi cyberpunk anime? Oh hell yeah, yeah. No, uh, okay. Let me run, let me run it down. Let me think. Uh, let me uh, let me see her. Yeah, so it's it's Ghost in the Shell, right? Like oh. Ghost in the Shell is so badass. All of it, all of it, all the movies, even, even the, the new live stuff. Live action one. Like, okay. <laughs> I get what they were trying to do with the live action movie. I get it. <laughs> it's like a highlight reel. They took all the, what they thought was the cool moments, smacked them together and put it out. But what's missing is all of the actual context that makes you give a crap, right? Like there's, there's a need there to actually contextualize stuff. And that's unfortunately what the live action movie does not do. What about the girl who played Major? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah. Yeah. What does we? Yeah. What? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah means yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll, I, I won't, I won't pry anymore. <laughs> you freaking weeb! <laughs> <laughs> fucking weeb! <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! All these freaking VTubers always acting like I'm not a weeb. I don't watch anime, bitch. You know you do. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I know you do. That's why you became anime. Trying to act like you're not a freaking weeb. Stop lying to yourself. We're the biggest fucking weaves. We became what we liked. <laughs> we have become what we liked and what we consume. Next question. Next question. Oh, how did he decide on becoming a VTuber news anchor? Was it an inherent love of the Anchorman movies? I, I just bumbled into it. I, I just bumbled into it. Like I said earlier, it was, I just want to talk about all the crazy things people were talking about on Twitter. And then you jerks started actually doing fun things and e exciting things. And I couldn't ignore that. So I started talking about it. And then it started taking up more and more of the show. And now I don't really like to call myself like a news show, but it's kind of something like that, I guess. I, I like to say I'm a VTuber personality show. I, I try to get the personalities of who I'm talking through to the audience more so than what they're doing a little bit. But You know what I really liked about your videos? What's up? I, I liked everything, but I always found it very amusing that at the end of each video, you kept adding shit onto your uh, <laughs> ending. And then towards the end, it was just like a, 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 a soup of like assets all over you and i was like wow <laughs> art <laughs> art so so for those who don't know there's this amazing amazing movement 
uh, with VTubers uh, for free assets. Uh, artists will just create, uh, you know, arms and garbage cans and couches and things like that just for free for anyone to use. And I just kept on adding them and adding them until I like my OBS was starting to slow down mouse. Like I actually had to stop it. <laughs> What a it fascinating was... turn of events. I, man, I remember <laughs> no one did any assets, and now there's an asset explosion. Yes, I love it. I'm all about it. You can find anything now. It's like, oh, you want a freaking enema? Here you go. <laughs> and I isn't really called... enjoyed it. Hmm? Isn't, didn't, isn't that called something else? A fleet? A fleet? Of a course. Fleet? The... <laughs> Thank you! I swear to God. Every time. Every time I would hear Fleet, I was like, oh my god, Fleet Enema. Twitter, Twitter, we're rolling out Fleet. Someone's like, excuse me? You're doing what? what? You're providing me a free Enema? Thanks. Yo, it was hilarious when Twitter was just like, yeah, we're done with Fleets now. Thanks. Bye. We're done. It's the most like unprofessional looking tweet you could ever see too. They just drop that yeah, hard. Yeah, that was bizarre. That was really weird. I thought they'd be like more like uh, I don't know, but uh, I guess uh, maybe Fleets wasn't doing too well. Maybe they realized that it was the name of an enema. <laughs> Out of all I mean, things, name it. What the fuck? Nothing better than a good enema, though. I don't want to <laughs> knock it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of favorites, I wanted to ask you. What is one of your favorite uh, episodes or stories that you've covered on your show? Oh, one, uh, the one that immediately comes to mind, I, I can't help it, but it was the BBC interview huh? with, with Vey, with Fruit. That was, a, that was just fun. It was like, oh, real anchors and me, <laughs> this, this crazy, ridiculous clown reacting to it and and no no shade you know but the the anchor lady i don't know oh, if you God. saw that yeah, we're not gonna make right. a big deal about it uh, v shoujo absolutely loves you bbc uh v shoujo is all about the bbc all right <laughs> they are all about the bbc <laughs> but at, at the end of one of this because there were two segments at the end of it um the the anchor woman said kind of freaky or Dude. how freaky something like that yeah and she was, was like, like freaky and i'm like yeah. what the fuck what the <laughs> fuck freaky freaky a job is freaky to you really you know what but i think is freaky being a news anchor no i'm just kidding but mouse now we have a challenge you and i now we need to get that news anchor to be a vtuber now right oh my god can you imagine that's the follow-up story. That's Can it. Imagine? Can you imagine? Holy shit, that would be hilarious. I'll invite Let's make her it on happen. Show. Yes, it's gotta oh, happen. Sure. But like, what's so freaky about VTubers, huh? <laughs> you know what I think is freaky? 3D people, <laughs> flesh and blood people. Y'all stink. <laughs> they smell. They all smell. I am. Concerned? Concerned that you're afraid we're coming for your job? But, but all the same, it was just fantastic. We love to see stuff like that. And otherwise, the package was, like, on the money, I thought. Like, it was a fair assessment of, like, what VTubers were. I just thought it was like, wow, finally, boomer grannies and grandpas around yes. the world will know what VTubers are. Yeah, that was always kind of the question. It was like... What do you do when you point to VTubing? What do you show them? Like, to, as the first thing, right? <laughs> Me, I, I would legitimately actually point to Lumi. I would. Uh, I think she is the all-arounder, but others come in, like, through clips, right? Like, clips are what YouTube is pushing out hard still. And, oh, man, that, if, that's, if that's how people get in the rabbit hole, so be it. Oh man, I I remember I've had people ask me, so what VTuber? What 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 is this VTuber thing? And I and I just send them a hacha <laughs> 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 and they're like, what? Throw them like, into yes. ca chaos incarnate right it's, away. Nice. It's amazing. It's glorious. Look, and then they're instantly hooked, and I never hear from them again. 
<laughs> they're too, they're too far gone. Yeah, I've converted many a person, many a person, even people that have no interest in anime. That they're like, wow, I didn't think I'd like this, but uh, I do, and now I want to become it, and I'm like, good. No, it's true. We, we're definitely uh beyond that point now where people are into VTubers. There, there, there are a. I mean, there's even groups now of VTubers that are explicit about, you know, we're not anime. We're more Western inspired. And it's not like a adversarial thing. It's just what they want to present themselves as now. My so is working. <laughs> All according to Keikaku, I see. Yes, yes indeed. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got, Mouse? What other what other questions you got so for me tonight? Long. Would you like to become Tube? Yes! Become Tube, tube with us. Tube me! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the day that, oh, God, the day, the day that I see, like, people, nor even more normies become VTubers, that'll be great. <laughs> Next question! Next question. <laughs> Whoa, so you got... Malie on that rig false, or are you more of a double dash kind of guy? Melee. <laughs> what I say the? <laughs> oh. Are they asking if you're a fighter? What? What is that? Oh, that's a Smash question. Oh, did you used to play Smash? Is that a thing no. that you like? No, no. Like Smash was like after my time, I think. After I think, your time? Yeah. I never, I never, I've never touched a Smash game before. Whoa. It's weird. I, 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 strangely enough, like, never seem to play, like, popular games. Never? So I've never, I've never played, like, Among Us or Apex or World of Warcraft. It's like, if it's big, apparently, like, there's some kind of barrier around it where I don't touch it. I, I like playing, like, weird, random, odd games, like, off itch.io and things like that. Real weird experimental stuff that you don't know what's going to happen. Like one hand games. <laughs> that I doesn't know, always I know have... what's on that website. No, that's so much more mouse. I swear it's, it's a content heaven. I, I'm not kidding. Okay. Two and yeah, games. it does. And it does have that too, but there's more. <laughs> Like, wait, what, 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 what would you say is your favorite game? My favorite game of all time. I like open world games, actually. Oh. So I get lost in them. I, I, uh, I've put some hours into Skyrim. So watching Silver Streams brings Silver. me back. Silver Skyrim streams are legendary because she uses like 800 mods. She has 800 mods. I thought I was, I thought I was amazing because I was running at like 150 or something like that. She is balancing legitimately 800 mods somehow still getting this to run and making content out of it it's Just magical imagine what kind of beast does she have for a computer in order to run all that shit i i she is truly a goddess and and a and a, <laughs> and a, and a enlightened being at her craft it's all that waifu power she has. She does. She has waifu power. And I love watching her Skyrim streams because they're so... It's so comfy to watch. I don't know. All of her streams are comfy, though. She, she has such a comfy vibe. I feel like people think, oh, she's she's so gorgeous and hot and she oozes sex and personality and, and she's so amazing, titterly goddess. And it's like, no. <laughs> when you go to her streams... It's no, like, when you wrecked. actually watch her streams... You know, like you get that for maybe five minutes, yeah, and then the other seven hours and fifty five minutes are like off the wall. What is going to happen next uh in Skyrim? We're right all like, in, enveloped in a warm blanket. It's like a warm hug watching this amazing saga of Skyrim. I love her Skyrim streams i wish i I wish I was into Final Fantasy fourteen as a player. I oh. wish I was whoa, you would man. I only started Isn't playing it? because Silver told me that it was a retirement community and I enjoyed it. 
it's just like such a bummer. Like I just, I feel like I don't have time for something that big, right? Like, uh, so are are yeah. you playing it now? I, I I started playing it again. I had stopped and then I I started up again, and I'm anticipating the new release. Uh, I I feel, I feel like this always ha I always cycle between either Black Desert or Final Fantasy, and like. I had a moment where I got into Black Desert Hardcore because the new class came out, and I'm like, yay, I'm going to play every day. I'm going to get the season pass. I'm going to play every day. And then I was like, oh, shit, but Final Fantasy, though. Is Black Desert is Black Desert legit? Is that a good game, or does it just have an awesome character creator? Uh, w which is it? I feel, I I feel like know. I'm the worst person to ask this question because I will say, yes, it's an amazing game. But it's only because, like, I've been in it for so long. And, like, uh, I don't feel... I, I'm not, like, the typical player. I don't play it like a normal person would play it. It's you're invested. Like, yeah, it's more like you, like... How you said that you get, like, immersed and stuff. Like, I lose myself in open world games. I lose myself yep. in Black Desert all the time. Yep. It's a magical thing. It's a dangerous thing, but it's a magical thing. Absolutely. You know, there's something about that. And there's something about even just VTubers as they are now that I don't want to call it escapism, but I think there is something that is actually still it is escapism, uh, <laughs> but, but it's a, but it's a, it can be a healthy thing because some people these days. I'm not are, saying it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> they're way too wrapped up into the turmoil of the world right so i'll be the first it, i'll be the first person to admit it i i escape from my everyday life all the time it's why i want to stream at all times if i could stream and be myself at all times i would fuck human life no 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 no, 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 no fuck human life We got her, quote it. Fuck real world. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, if 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 you're living a life full of limitations, why wouldn't you want to escape into an anime anime life, you know? Yeah, but that that all said, I just think you need that though. Like mm. I I don't think it's necessarily a point where you know, yeah, you can you can lose track. You can make it uh, something that involves too much of you. But I really think we need this downtime and yeah, call it escapism, what have you, in our lives now more than ever. It's true. Um, I agree. Because e every other outlet wants you to be like tuned in to every problem in the world, and we're not wired like that. That's impossible for any one person to do that. Exactly. So it's just a way of like flipping that off, I guess, is yeah. what I would say. I like the, the second I come on stream, everything stops existing. And, and I am in this moment and that is me and that's all that matters. And that's why like uh, a lot of people, I, I guess like people, it's so funny because I don't see this as a career or a job. I see this yeah, as, yeah. to me, this is my escape. This is my hobby. This is my vacation, which is why when people are like, Mousy, when are you going to take a break? And I'm like, never. <laughs> never. I will never take a break because this is my vacation. This is my vacation. <laughs> when I end the stream, that's when I start my job. <laughs> and that, that, it's that, what... that's that. No, it's an excellent point because some people kind of look at it as... Uh, they, they, want, they kind of get into it because they want to make a career out of it. Mm -hmm. And they could be successful in that. There is a way to professionally become a VTuber and such. But for me, yeah, it's it's straight up the best hobby I've ever had, bar none. I can't stop thinking about it, man. Like, what? it's in me. Yeah, yeah, you dream about it too, don't you? I can't burn out because I'm burned in. It's just impossible at this point. Oh my yeah. God. It, it occupies my mind 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All I think about is VTubing. It's amazing. I just want to talk about VTubing with everyone. And my poor, my poor earth mother that I brainwashed is so confused. <laughs> <laughs> She's so confused. She's like, what the, uh, no entiendo, pero okay. <laughs> That's the final challenge. We finally, the world over, have made everyone into a VTuber. <laughs> except Iron Mouse's mother. 
That is the final boss. I can't wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna make the oxygen man supplier become a VTuber. <laughs> All everyone, the milkman, the banker, everyone. <laughs> My old piano teacher that smacked my hand with a ruler because I wasn't playing scales correctly. She's going to become one too. This sounds like more of a punishment, Mouse. What's going on here? <laughs> what kind of VTubers are you making them into? All different types of VTubers. There's, there's a VTuber for everyone. There's going to be a lunch lady VTuber. There's going to be a VTuber that licks stamps. Oh, that's all they do on stream. <laughs> all they do is lick stamps all day. Oh, God. Oh, God. We've gone too far. We need to stop, Mouse. Mouse. <laughs> Never! <laughs> I'm never stopping! Never! <laughs> I'm, but, I'm, I'm, I'm insane. Sorry. <laughs> but the future refused to change. That is what we look forward to yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Target employee target employee VTuber. A shelf stalker VTuber. That's all they do. <laughs> Could you imagine the stream? Let's go! Woohoo! I dun. reached the shelf! <laughs> Where does the cardinal go? Here! Thanks for the biddlies! Dun. Dun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking crazy. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, let me see. Oh, we have another question. <laughs> <laughs> what with having a large audience? There are bound to be people who develop feelings for you, like romantic love, sometimes envy. How do you deal with situations where people have crushes on you? That's not for me, that's for you. Are we sure? Yes, I'm sure. Sure. That, that's, I mean, that's that doesn't have my name on it, though. That doesn't... No, 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 that's totally for you. That's not for me. I mean, it's natural. I am, of course, the most beautiful robot you will ever lay your eyes on. So it, it was inevitable, of course, you know, that, that was going to happen, but... Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, yeah, marriage is out. It's not happening. So I'm married to my job, ladies. Yeah, fuck marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just love how comfortable we are with that, too. It's just like... <laughs> fuck marriage. Man, the day I knew that like marriage was off the table, it was just like a giant, giant like weight off my chest. It's because it's a social obligation that society places upon you where you feel like you think you have to get married, but you really don't. It feels like more people are coming to the realization about that too. Like, I really do believe that, uh, you know, people can love each other and absolutely devote themselves to each other for their entire life, of course, of exactly. course. You but don't need a fucking piece of paper to prove that you love somebody. But do we all have to do that? Like, does no. that have to be for everybody? It's not for everybody. I, wa I want to retire and die the eccentric billionaire that then leaves my fortune to 11 random strangers that have to do this crazy road trip game to get it. It's, it's going to be amazing. Oh but... my god, your cheeks <laughs> off? No, no, it's more like rat race. Oh, like but... rat race. Oh, you're like Willy Wonka. No. What's Perfect. rat race? I don't know. Is that a movie? It is a movie. What, why you say it like that? Is it a role movie? Next question. Okay. <laughs> 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 I don't know Next. what movie that is, though. You gotta t tell me about it later. <laughs> so I... I D. Since we are all, we all know newscasters can wear whatever pants they like on camera, and no one oh. will know. Boxers or briefs? <laughs> Nothing. No. <laughs> oh no, my God! No. It's no. <laughs> Boxer briefs. Boxer briefs are where it's at. It's where it's at. I, I thought mean, this question was going somewhere else. I thought it was like, what are you wearing? You know, do you like dress up like an anchor or something like that? It's like. People don't care about the clothes you're wearing. They care about the clothes that you're not wearing. <laughs> That's perfect. It's true. It's true. Nobody gives a shit about what you're wearing. They just want to know what you aren't wearing. And that's clothes. But yes, uh, I am wearing boxer briefs and only boxer briefs, nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Always. That's okay. I never wear pants, so it's fine. We have something in common. I think we're almost done. What Thank was God. your life like? <laughs> Thank 
god. What was your life like for both of you before you became VTubers? Oh, god. You go I was first. just a consumer. You know, I just consumed things. Oh, new movie's out. Gotta watch it. Oh, new game is out. Gotta play it. You know, and I didn't really take the time to think about these things. I didn't take the time to like reflect at all, even into what I was consuming, you know? So I still do that with VTubers, you know, I devour them, but it's nice now that I actually take a moment to think about what that means and what they mean to us. So that, that's why it's brought a little bit more light into my life. Guys, he devours us. He devours us. And you're delicious. Thank you. <laughs> Well, I I don't think for me I the way I uh, the way I explain it is <laughs> Vor stream confirmed. Yeah, <laughs> Vor tuber in the house. Get that out of here! I don't like Vor. <laughs> for me, for me, uh, before when I think about my life before VTuber, I think of myself as simply existing, and after VTuber, I am living. So that's like a, I think that's like a a. a excellent explanation of my life i was existing uh surviving uh and now i'm living life like folks we don't want to oversell it but there is a real light that gets lit in you when this this clicks like it can really work for you yeah, it yeah, brings yeah. another dynamic that you might just never have expected to have this is probably what a lady feels like when when she gets into selling mary Kay. <laughs> What? <laughs> she feels like her life has changed forever and she's found a new purpose in life. I'm going to take on the world now. With my Mary Kay uh, collection. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Is that it? Are we, do are we done with the questions? Are we done? I, I think we have one more. Oh, my God. I think there's a moth in my room. Fuck. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> False. Do you have any plans on digivolving again? I'd as ask Mouse, but she's already told us about branching div digivolutions. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, okay? Yes. Uh, there's plenty of new ones, but uh, do you have any plans of expanding past a uh, lady? These nuts. <laughs> what? I need to. I need to. It feels like I'm behind the game. That's the thing, right? Like when it feels like you're not when you don't have something in the pipeline, it feels like you're behind on something. So true. Um so, true. so I I need to get working on that. Yeah. I need yeah. to get a buffer buffer robo. Yeah, I always feel robo. like I always feel like I fall behind too. Even though it's ridiculous, but I, I No, cuz you you're the one pumping out the most mouse. What what are you talking about? That's not true. <laughs> I don't know of any other VTuber that has pumped out more models than you ever. No, no, there's plenty. There's there's so many VTubers that like Candy is no. always revolutionizing. She's always changing. Candy has done so many. I love Candy Syndrome. Can, can, candy, okay, that's true. Candy iterates though. Like you're doing like full straight, uh, like redesigns from bottom to top. Okay, well, I like fashion, so what? All right, I'm not going to push it. I understand this gets so under your so your V-skin. <laughs> yeah, it's like changing my clothes. I'm just changing my skin. Yeah, it's not a big deal. You know, like any skinwalker would. Don't call, please don't call us that, please. <laughs> well, are you afraid of skinwalkers? I mean... <laughs> Is oh this God. a thing now? Are you about to tell us like skinwalkers are sexy? Are, are no, we going no, beyond predators I was, now? I, I was on TikTok and I was watching, I, I was looking at skinwalker TikToks and it scared me at 3 a.m. Yeah, we, we need to stop that. The, okay, so if anyone doesn't know, Mouse has been watching all these scary, scary videos late at night and then not <laughs> sleeping. Look, Mouse, your your baby Jesus nightlight can only protect you so much, oh, no. all right? Like, <laughs> we're gonna have to bring down like real predators to stop these spooks. It's such, it's, it's such a tiny baby Jesus too. He's not even that big. It's a tiny nightlight, glow in the dark. I love that. That that was a compromise. That was cool. I like that. <laughs> I always had the compromise. I don't. I didn't want any scary suffering Jesuses in my room. It it makes me so feel very uncomfortable. 
Yeah, but he's so cool, though. He's like, I'm suffering for you. No. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, listen, I know there are tons of women that find that super sexy, and they like yes. have crushes on suffering Jesus, but I don't want no suffering Jesus around me. I just want happy Jesus. Please. Where is Buddy Christ? <laughs> Buddy Jesus. I, 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 I don't want him suffering. I don't understand what people's obsession is. Like, oh, let me put 50 versions of the suffering man in my house. <laughs> I feel so I, at home. <laughs> I, I think that's the thing. There's just so many of him also in your house that it's kind of really... It's so much. It, it's like, when is it enough over the enough? Top. Like, when is, it, when is enough enough? Like, I asked my mom, I'm like, you've had, you have 20 Bibles in this house. When is enough? You're not even going to read them all. They're just there as decorations. You say that, but one day they start levitating and beating up some other spook demon in the night for you, and you're going to be like, ah, oh, thank oh, goodness. Jesus. Oh, my God. My, <laughs> that reminds me of the, that reminds me of a story a, a long time ago. Uh, not Well, not that long ago. My mom had, like, some friends over from church and stuff, and, like, yeah. she, they, were, they, they came to pray for my soul. Aw. It was very Creepy. Sweet. <laughs> but yeah, like sweet and creepy all at once. Yeah, I, I, like I always, I, yeah, exactly. I'm always very like uh, uh, I, I, I'm very appreciative that they're taking the time out of their day to do right. that. Uh, even though yes, it is a little strange, but uh, you know, I, I appreciate, I appreciate stuff like that because I know my mom means well, and I know my my mom and her friends, they they just to them like you know they want to help. You know what I mean? And I appreciate any type of help. Uh. But, uh, I don't know, the lady, one of the ladies started saying, she started seeing, like, weird stuff around me, and I'm like, uh, <laughs> What? <laughs> was she, was she, uh, speaking in tongues or something, or what, what was she saying? Like, uh, no, I like... mean, I, I don't know, she said, she said she started seeing stuff around me that, that was, like, uh, something, and I'm like, what the, f I, I got really spooked out, and then I, I, I retreated. <laughs> She you, probably just saw that I was that I was Satan. <laughs> Y'all need to leave now. <laughs> my de my my demonic aura will repel you. <laughs> oh God! No, I can't let people know the truth. My family must remain brainwashed. <laughs> I'm trying not to. They almost the brainwashing almost uh, ran ran out the other day, but I I saved it just in time with my hypnotic <laughs> umbrella. They almost found out you're actually a mouse. <laughs> well, they'll never know. <clears throat> okay, one more question. I think this one's cute. Hi, mouse and false. Wanted to ask: Does false make beeping noises since he's a robot of some sort? I must know. Oh my god, he does! I knew it! I shouldn't be doing that, actually. <laughs> that, should, that should not be doing that. That's Why? I need to get that checked out. Oh no, uh-oh. Oh my god, That's it's bad. bad. Uh, uh-oh. That, does that mean you're gonna explode? Robo's going in the shop. Oh no, That's all. please! Please, the, no. <clears throat> One final question. This is the question that I've been waiting for. <clears throat> False. Why the purple and pink color scheme? <laughs> Was it inspired by a certain mouse? <laughs> All right. All right, mouse. I'll tell you the answer to this. This is a secret of all of my models, but I got to have you give me something too. All right. Uh, so, uh, so we're, we're going to talk about some things and then we're going to loop back to that. All right. Okay. Fair. All oh, right. Okay, fair. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring in the intern. Uh oh. You already, you, you know, there's trouble when he shows up. All right. Let's have some fun. Oh God. Here we go. Oh dear. Tonight we are going to fundamentally change the way we view Iron Mouse. What? Yes, yes, yes. At last, the promise is here. All right. Mouse, this is where bringing me on was a mistake. Oh, God, I think the show's going to end. <laughs> You're about to boot me off. I think the show's going to end very quick. So last month, uh Mousy here had two different streams. 
that were so relevatory that they told us so much about her that it has to make us rethink who Iron Mouse is. What? The first, the first one was reverse harem applications with Project Melody. Mm? And the second one was cultured tags with my nanners. <laughs> This was 10 hours of streaming between the two. Yeah. <laughs> that some people may call kink shaming. It was not kink shaming. It was not. Not oh, at all. No, we weren't. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. What happened during these streams was Mouse had this cultured tier list, uh, a tier list basically of fetishes. Yes. And. Her and Melody, and then later her and Yanners went over these fetishes that they then ranked. It was it was amazing because it told us so much about Melody and so much about Yanners, but especially about Iron Mouse, the supposed the supposed demon queen. But tonight we have to challenge this title of Demon Queen. Oh shit! What the fuck? Because. She did not shed off her, she did not at all shed off her humanity. She did not engage her carnal desires. What? She what? said to Melody, she said this, this is a verbatim quote. Okay. We are two pure say so maidens. Say so maiden. That is what we have here for Iron Mouse. And we're going to go over why that is true tonight. Mouse, are you ready? I don't know, maybe. All right. Again, none of your answers were wrong. That's not what this is about. Oh my God, what the fuck? What is happening? But, but your answers definitely put you into the say so maiden category than the demon queen category, is what we're saying. That's okay. all. That's all. Okay. So, for those who may remember, this is also the cool stream where Iron Mouse took Neanders on a date to the mall as Paul Blart. It was amazing. <laughs> It was fantastic. That's the stream where Nanner said she would vor mouse if she was a real mouse. <laughs> but now we get into it because it's all actually uh, alphabetical. All right. So, so we started off with a hey gal. A hey gal. Yes. And what did, what did mouse say? Oh God, I don't remember. What did I put as? She says it has to be conditional. Conditional? Like, that doesn't sound like a demon queen. Demon queens would always be down for a hey gal 24 seven. You can't just have an ahe gal face all the time. If you have it on all the time, it loses its meaning. You know, a queen could have it though. A queen could pull it off though. A, a, queen, a queen could, could do pull this. it off, but you can't wear it all the time. Because <laughs> if you're all, it's like if you're always smiling if you're always smiling there's gonna be instances where people are like why the fuck are you smiling what the fuck <laughs> so then if you flash your smile to somebody they're gonna be like oh well they're always smiling so it's not like they they're happy to see me or anything <laughs> it's a little more than a smile but all right all right point taken good points let's look in let's look into the things that she says she just absolutely said she's not into all right oh god uh she is not into armpits Lactation, <laughs> feet licking, <laughs> basically anything to do with hair. Uh, not into furry, and and the next the next two ones hurt. Uh, she is not into ectoplasm or harpies. Oh God, N dear God, no! <laughs> now uh, look, a lot of bird VTuber friends that they, they're aware, they understand, but. The ghost VTubers were especially hurt by the being against ectoplasm. That that really hurt them, Mouse. That hurt them. But, I mean, but, but, but it, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. They've come to terms. It's fine. They're not I mean, inconsolable. Listen, I I feel like if 
ectoplasm is like okay in small amounts, but it's not like <laughs> I don't want it to be gushing all over the place. You know what I mean? <laughs> Ghosts are kind of scary because you can't always uh, uh see them, and then you get you get surprised by ectoplasm, and then it's like oh my god, and sometimes it's not a good surprise, you know? All right, so no bukkaking of the ectoplasm. Understood. No. <laughs> we we get it. We understand now. Thank you for the clarification. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So here's the things that she did not know what they meant. She she needed to have them defined. <laughs> so we have... Listen, I know what sex is. I'm just not going to tell you. There's a lot more to it than just the missionary position, Mouse. All right? You got to do a little bit more than that. All right. So... Uh, we had to define for you what uh, ass job. Uh, I don't know what that is, but then they explained it to me. And it's like, there's just some things that I know what it is, but I didn't know that they had like an official name for it. What the fuck? What do I look like? A nameologist? What the there's hell? There's a name for all of this. There has to be. We have well, to know. I don't, what... I don't know that. I didn't know that there was official names for stuff. We have to have tags these days. It it's, has to be done. It's just like me not knowing that there's a Pokemon that's made out of pure garbage. I didn't know that <laughs> shit. That's like half of them, though. <laughs> I didn't she did that. not. She did not know what the acronym for CBT meant. She what? did not know that. Wait, what was CBT again? Oh! Don't say it. <laughs> oh, oh! <I'm> sorry. I... <laughs> <laughs> Why would I know that? I've never participated in such an activity. A demon queen would know these things, Mouse. I don't have to do them. I get people to do it for me. <laughs> Understandably, you didn't understand what a chastity belt was. You did, you know, a demon queen wouldn't know what a chastity belt is. So that's understandable. Okay. All right. Uh, also, just didn't know what a foot job is or a panty job. I just so. I didn't even know a panty job was a thing. That makes no fucking sense to me. Why would you do that? What is the it's point of that? It, it's more of a... More of a... Just do it! it. <laughs> hentai. It's kind of a hentai thing. That's all. That's all. I didn't so. even know... I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't even know there was like a, a word for it or if it was a thing. Now, again, that's fine. You know, we... I'm just saying, definitively, as a demon queen, we have to have you know you these things. All right. So there was a lot of things you wouldn't say uh, for uh, respecting this. I'm not going to repeat these things. So we're not going to be talking about the sucking of spherical objects. Uh, we're not going to be talking about jobs that blow. And we're not going to be talking about um, the depth of throats. But... There were, there were a number of things that just couldn't be said, which was surprising, but that's where we're at. What? <laughs> All right. So let, let's, let's put some of this to rest, though. Regarding BDSM, that is bondage, discipline, dominance, and submission. Iron Mouse said, I don't like the hard stuff. What? what? I don't like the hard stuff. Said the demon queen. I, I don't remember saying that. <laughs> That's okay. We have the VOD. It's ah! all there. <laughs> uh, regarding lactation. Quote, I have no desire to taste human juice. I thought uh, Demon Queen would dine on any kind of human juice, but apparently uh, that's not the case. I told you! I, 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 I love humans! Why would I want to suck their juice? That's why I the became a streamer, so that I could suck their souls in small amounts through the internet. A Demon Queen that loves humans. Interesting. I love Interesting. humans. Interesting. Why? What's wrong with humans? I think they're fascinating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't understand. You're a robo. Yeah, I'm better. I'm better than them. You're right. <laughs> you were built All right. to last. <laughs> built to last. Wound up, ready to go. You're right. With a piston thing. 
Well, that's mind. that's one of them, sure. Ah! You know, the question is, they always ask what it looks like, and I'm like, which one? Wh what? <laughs> Anyways, you also said no to time stop and mind control. I mean, those are pretty handy, pretty handy things to have as a demon queen. Consent, but you s Consent is sexy! <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. I'll only accept it if it's consensual and they ask ahead of time. My answer is always yes, unless no is required. I'm scratching my head over this one. You said you thought your breasts were too big? What? 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 That, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right at all. What? A, a what? A what? Also, you... <laughs> You said also that wearing a bikini and the very concept of exhibitionism are embarrassing. <laughs> it's embarrassing for me. I don't like to wear bikinis. I don't like them. <laughs> I'm, I'm... I just, I, I've seen a number of demon queens in my day. They seem to have some... Um, I don't know, more uh, risque tops is all, but... Yeah, but they're, uh, they're voluptuous and beautiful. And you're not? No, I'm a gremlin. No. <laughs> I'm a gremlin. All right, we're going we're gonna to put that to bed. <sighs> what? You also said uh, you, don't like to, you don't like being blindfolded. Uh, no, because I like to see things. Or, or the ancient tradition of bukkake. You're not into the pure and ancient tradition of bukkake. Uh, that's, an, that's a thing you're not into. Listen, it's like I said. I don't want to be a fucking frosted flake, you know? I don't want to be a frosted <laughs> cake, a frosted flake. I don't want to be a fucking candle melting from all the heat. <laughs> all right. Th this is one that really sells it, though. On the say-so maidenness, uh, Iron Mouse thought that cowgirl was not a position, but instead a girl who is also a cow. <laughs> she did not think it was the position they were talking about on this tier list of cultured tags of fetishes. I thought it meant cowgirl. <laughs> it it is cowgirl. But not a girl. But not a girl who is also a cow, no. I thought it was a girl who was a cow. Why? All right, I'm gonna be very, I'm gonna be very careful about this next one. Uh, there's a certain act that um, it, it could be uh, defined as being dined on. Uh, that you were not into receiving. Um, no judgments, oh, no. no judgments, but just sounds like someone really needs to be dined on. No. How about no? <laughs> there, there are all other really indifferent ones. Uh, yeah. You said you like to kiss. Kissing is S tier. Uh, kissing is fine. That's, that's an indifferent one. Um, I like daddies. You said, I like daddies. I like a good dilf. Uh, that's indifferent. That, that, that doesn't go into either category of say so maiden or what is happening? demon queen. So that's fine. Ah! Uh, for Mecha Boy, Mecha Boy, you put into C. And Robot, you said, don't know. I, I, uh, mean, I mean, I've never, I haven't encountered too many robots in my lifetime, you know? The, you know, that that we're not taking that personal we need to do better okay that's on us normalize robot poise we are fully equipped in so many ways that's on us so no judgments no judgments ah oh, all right all right military uniform is a d military uniform is a d look we have zentrea right there she's right there mouse yeah, but she's a dragon now. <laughs> she's a, she's from, ti a... from time to time. <laughs> All right. 
Don't worry, Mouse. We're almost through this. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. Here's the one bit that did did come across as kink shaming. So I, I gotta I gotta I gotta go at you a little bit on this one. But you said in response to the insects tag, you said, "Do you want to get by a cricket?" <laughs> now look, my dear friend Jiminy cried that night okay but look i'm sorry but we have juniper juniper the moth mommy is a moth right an there yes oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i don't know i'm not a fucking insectologist how would i know i don't i didn't oh. know that they were insects i thought they were like wait is a butterfly insect yes Yes, mouse. <laughs> yes. It's hey, this is good. This is clarification. This is good. This is good for you. I thought this butterfly this... was a butterfly. It had like its own category and a moth was like a butterfly. Okay, all right. No? So <laughs> What? All right. So let, let's let's look on the bright side here. Here's some pluses. Here here's what helps you out. Uh not only are you into callers, but you have many callers. Uh, you have bloomers. You own harnesses. Uh, you are into body control. Not mind control, but body control. You are super into biting. Okay, Iron Mouse is so into biting that she said, quote, If you're not into biting, that's a pass. That's it. You have to be a biter to get in on this. What? Mousy, where are you going? Mousy. I think it's almost time to end the show. I hear ringing <laughs> bells. And also, also, to give you credit, you did also say this line. Abracadabra, alakazam, stick your wiener in my clam. <laughs> that was good. That got you some points, but... <laughs> I'm afraid, Iron Mouse, uh, at the end of the day, we are going to have to call you Say So Maiden. Uh, okay. If you want to know the answer to that question, that secret about my models, you're going to have to change your bio what? on your Twitter. <laughs> what? For however long you want. It could be for a minute. You don't have to do it for very long. But if you want to know my secret, it's got to be changed out from Demon Queen to Say So Maiden. You don't have to do it now. What secret are we talking about? The last question you asked was about my colors. I kind of want to know. Should I? There is, a, there is a secret to my colors. It's kind of... It's a little embarrassing, I admit. There is something to it. And I will tell you, and I will tell chat tonight. But you do have to call yourself a say-so maiden on Twitter. On my Twitter bio or in a tweet? Whatever's good for you. I'll do it right now. All right, boys, get out to our Twitter, make some screenshots. <laughs> and uh, at me, false ID on Twitter. <laughs> you want me to at you? <laughs> yeah, feel free. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so while you're doing all that, I'll go ahead and tell you about the secret. All right. <laughs> So way back when I was making my robot, uh -huh. I, I tried to, I, I wanted a Twitch color scheme. I wanted something purple, right? Uh -huh. But that was, that was kind of boring. There wasn't a lot to it. So I whatever. I that that was it though. I, 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 at first I thought, oh, well, he's probably like purple, like Twitch. Yeah, it's close. It's close. That was the idea because I started off on Twitch, but there's more to it. So I found this other color scheme. It was better. It had more to it. What? And, uh... Oh, God. I have to I have to pull this up. All right. Let me pull this up for myself. Okay. So I found this color scheme. It's amazing. I sent it to my artist. No one's ever said anything about this color scheme. And I'm surprised because it's an iconic color scheme. 
and it is not Project Melody's color scheme. She she she's fantastic. I'm actually very flattered that people say I look like a gender bend of Melody. That's not the case. That was never the intention. But when I got this color scheme, it only went it only went by the name that I will now give a hint to the memers right now. So I'm I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick hint. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? Oh I could really God. use a wish right now, wish oh right now, wish God. right now. Your Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> it was only. <laughs> it was only called Twilight. It, that's all it was called when I saw it. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> no, don't call me Pony Boy. No, stop. Pony Stop. Chat. Chat. No. <laughs> no. Chat. Stop. Yeah, pony boy. Pony boy. Pony boy. Oh God. Does your name oh. now? Pony boy. Oh my God! You gotta get a pony Sona now. You gotta get a pony VTuber from Techie. Me and Techie are mutuals, so I'm down. Techie, I'm down for this. Please make him a pony. She's awesome. Yeah, Techie Cutie, by the way, a uh, great fan, great friend of Snuffy, of course, but mm -hmm. she's just a fantastic VTuber herself. She does pony and humanoid forms. She's so good. <laughs> Let's go, pony boy. We don't judge here. Ponies are fun. They can be fun. That's why you fun. that's why you use Twilight Sparkle's color scheme, huh? Apparently! All right. <laughs> All right, mouse. Now I got two more bits here uh -oh. and then we'll call well, I swear we'll call it a night. I don't want to overstay my welcome. Okay, okay. All right. So when we said that we are fundamentally going to make you change the way you view Iron Mouse, that also includes her calling herself not a Sundere. What? What? She has said multiple times she is not. I am not. She is not. She's, she said that right now. She is not a Sundere. All right. So j just a second. I got to get this. Hold on just a moment. Okay. Okay. I, I, I have lab results back. What? These are, these are lab results. When did you take a blood sample? No, 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 no. We just took what you said on these streams and then fed them into an algorithm. This was done, this was done by the prestigious University of Tokyo. I, I actually got these results back like two days ago. They actually mailed it to me. This is cool. So, uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, yeah, so we fed those quotes. Uh, we fed them particular quotes where you said, quote, Sundere is S tier for me, just letting you know. That's, that was one quote we fed it. Uh, yeah, that, yeah. Uh, you also said, so I like being the Sundere, and then immediately staying, stating that I'm not a Sundere. You, you said that. Now, this is all despite Melody. Your friend, your very dear friend that cares very much about you and your well-being, immediately saying, you are Sundari. What? On the subject of teasing, you said, quote, teasing relentlessly. I kind of like it. I don't like it at the same time, but... Because I don't like it, I like it at the same time. I don't remember saying that ever. And here was what really apparently sent off the scale. This was uh, four hours and 16 minutes into the reverse harem applications with Project Melody stream. Quote, it's good to be super short because everybody is taller than me. And it's nice to look up to people and I like it. Because somebody who is very nice to me, that I might like, might use my head as an armrest. And I will gladly provide my head as an armrest. But then I'll look up at them. And I'll be like, huh? Don't use my head as an armrest. And I'll pretend I hate it. But I like it. <laughs> All right. So this all went into the algorithm, Mouse. 
And uh, we have the results back. Um, dear False Sun, please send us more data on the subject. We have not seen Sundari levels like this <laughs> since since 15 years ago with Suzumiya Haruhi. Uh, so let's check these results. So to give you an idea, like anything above a 50% is like Apex, whatever it may be. An Apex, Yandere, uh, Sundere, whatever. No one ever, ever, ever usually goes above 50%. Usually there's a big, there's like a big mixture. Uh, we've never even seen anything over 60% before. Iron Mouse, are you ready for your results? From the, from the prestigious University of Tokyo. All it's right. not like I care or anything. We officially can say that Iron Mouse is 75% Sundere. A level we have never, ever, ever seen. <laughs> ever. <laughs> what? Confirmed. No, 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 that has to be wrong. That has to be wrong. There's no way. Confirmed. Iron Mouse is a Sundari. That is the end of the story arc. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we also do have other results as to what the rest of you is, if you'd like to hear that. Sure. Tell me Tell me what the rest of it is, even though I know it's all wrong. <laughs> we also have you as 15% Boko Dere, what, what, which what is that, refers to, that refers to being shy around those they're infatuated with. They get embarrassed easily and will lash out to hide their uh, to hide their shyness. <laughs> what? That, 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 that's not me at all. Uh, we also do have you as five percent Yandere. That's that's nothing to be worried about. That's pretty normal, actually. <laughs> that's kind of normal. And we also have uh, another weird categorization. It just it just says five percent Gramolin. So, a gremlin? Really? Ramolin. It has like that, like kappa, like that ancient Japanese kappa attached to it, too. So, <laughs> it's official. All right. Sundare confirmed. I Thank you. I can't believe this. I'll never financially recover from this. <laughs> <laughs> now, in all of this, there was one tag that I, I, I personally have to come. And defend. There, uh -oh. there was one that you and I don't, I don't know if I, I'm trying to recall whether it was Nanners or Melody or whatever that just no one was into. And I'm going to come to the rescue of okay. uh, one that. It... Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. The tag that is triple S. It is sick smoking style. <laughs> Triple S is Oyakodon. What, Oyakodon. What was Oyakodon again? That is mother daughter. That is mother daughter at the same time. What the fuck? All right. Now look. <laughs> what? I think, Mouse, you're looking at it wrong. Okay? So let's flip this. Let's go ahead and flip this just as an exercise. <laughs> <laughs> let's instead of mother daughter say this is father son <laughs> all right so let's set the stage what the fuck what is happening iron mouse has finally met a lovely boy uh, all right uh he, he likes everything she likes, even that Power Rangers stuff. He's into that even, <laughs> somehow. He is... I like how you say even that Power Rangers stuff. Whatever that is. <laughs> He's the one, okay? This is the one. Uh, Iron okay. Mouse has found the one. <laughs> and one day he's like, hey, I want you to meet my dad, okay? <laughs> it's kind of... It's kind of tragic. Uh, you know, he, he lost his mother at a young age. So his dad is a, was a single father, raised him up, made him into, made him into a man. And, uh, and 
he's he's in a different country so you guys go on a trip uh someplace that's like exotic to you like someplace like wales or someplace <laughs> like that and so anyways you pull up to his dad's place and you, and you see his dad for the first time. You just never had seen him. And he is straight up chopping wood. He is a lumber <laughs> jack. He is big. He's ripped. He has, he's got gray hair, uh, beautiful gray hair, beautiful gray beard, like a buff Santa of some kind. And he goes in for a hug and oh, he's so strong. Mouse, he's so strong. Dear God, what the fuck? And so, you guys go in, you're having lunch, and you notice like, hey, these two are getting along really well. You know, the dad is saying, I'm so proud of you, son. You know, they're reminiscing. And you can't help it, but the thought enters your mind for only half a second, only half a second. But it, it comes across and you think, you know, the three of us could just go into that bedroom. No! The no! three of us, no! the, three, the three of us could go into that bedroom and I could get spit roasted right now. No! <laughs> no! Oh my God! <laughs> And it's amazing. It's amazing. This thought you have. Because it's it's the most beautiful devil devil's tango you've ever had. It's amazing. I cannot believe what you There's so much power behind it. I can't believe what you're saying right now. And eventually, eventually, the man, your boyfriend, goes, Oh God. Oh God, you're gonna you're gonna make me You're gonna you're good. Stop it! Stop! Stop! Stop it! Stop! 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 Please stop! You're gonna make me download <laughs> Final Fantasy 14. <laughs> You're gonna make me download Final Fantasy 14, the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy 14 that has a free trial up to level 60 and includes the first expansion to Heaven's Word. <laughs> Oh my god, he got me sweating. Fuck. Mouse, that's why Oyakodon is awesome. Triple S tier. What Thank you. Is that, is that seriously something you like? What the fuck? I think I stated my case. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think I think I stated my case. No. All right. Oh god, dear god. I'm going back to Robo. <laughs> Your intern is depraved. Hey, folks, what did I miss? What happened? Your What's going on? Your intern is 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 depraved. Yeah, he's a he, he's he's a he's a bit of a jokester. I hope he wasn't uh, too crazy. <laughs> oh God. I, I almost had a titty attack right here on, <laughs> on, on stream. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Ugh. Mouse, it's been cool. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it's been great. <laughs> I've had so much fun tonight. I'm, I'm really happy that you could come and hang out with us. <clears throat> uh... <laughs> God damn. I can't believe <laughs> I'm trying to wait. I'm trying to compose myself. Fuck. So once again, folks, <laughs> V Shoujo does have new merchandise out today. It's the back to school special. Once again, through sharkrobot.com. Check it out. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. Thank you for coming on my show, False. <laughs> thank, you, thank you for the invite. <laughs> 
I had a lot of fun, and uh, uh, you are now my mortal enemy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you're not my enemy. You're not enemy. Thank you for coming. And please, if you're not following false, uh, please follow him on YouTube. What's your YouTube channel? False ID. Yep, youtube.com slash false ID. I is an eyeball. D is an dog. And follow him on Twitch because he's going to stream. <laughs> Soon. Good luck with that. Do it. Do it now. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, let me see. Uh... <clears throat>